Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Super Saturday Morning, your source for vintage cartoons, commercials, and anime, with a brand new broadcast premiering live every Saturday morning at 7.45 a.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube. My friends, as of the time this is being recorded, we are at 40, 48 subs. As you know, when we get to 50 subscriptions for this channel, I will then start to work on a bonus episode. At this point, it will most likely be released one or two weeks after we hit that 50 subscriber goal. I cannot work on it before we hit that goal because it all depends on what um, shows air beforehand. So if you're still on the outside looking in, get in here, friend. Get out of the cold and into the warm. There's a hot bowl of soup and some classic cartoons, commercials, and anime waiting for you. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, hit that notification bell, leave a comment if you feel like it, and share this video and this channel with your compatriots on your social media because it would be cruel not to share this wonderful thing with someone who would find some value in it. I've got a busy week ahead of me. Um, I'm going to be seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume 3, um, this Saturday is free comic book day and the Kentucky Derby. Uh, so I'll be betting on some horses and reading some comic books. And, um, I also have to figure out some issues with my vehicle. With all of that being said, I'll probably be in the chat room for the beginning of this broadcast, but I will eventually have to take off. So if you get in here and I'm not responding to anything that you're saying, that is probably why. Um, I'm very sorry in advance. How did you guys like last week's show? I seem to be back at normal numbers. I am once again trending upwards as last week's video is at number one for the time it has been out so far. It's fair to say that not a lot of people were too fond of uh, the April 22nd episode. And seeing as though Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue was the first thing you saw, I can see why. Sorry about that. Lesson learned. I won't do that anything like that again. I got a lot of positive feedback uh, regarding last week's episode, though. You guys really seem to like the movie presentation of Demon City Shinjuku. If you like that, then I'm proud to say that we're only scratching the surface. There's plenty more anime to come, and it's going to blow your mind. Um, for this week's episode, we got Josie and the Pussycats, The Thing, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. We got the Marvel Action Universe uh, block of Spider-Man, Dino Riders, and Robocop. We've got Dungeons and Dragons. We got G.I. Joe, Transformers. We're still riding those uh, coattails of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. We've got a couple new ones, a couple school ones Gravedale High and Galaxy High School. I think you're going to love these. Um, Galaxy High School, specifically, um, a lot of you know high end uh, people from Hollywood worked on this. Wonderful animation. For some reason, it just. Didn't it just wasn't popular at all? And you would think it had all of the ingredients to be a great show and something that people would love, but for some reason, it just wasn't uh, very liked. So I'm going to show it to you. Gravedale High School, as well, has uh, Rick Moranis, uh, you know, from Hi uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. He's doing the voice of the teacher. I think you're going to love it. Uh, we've also got Bump in the Night making its return. We've got the usual Berserk. And I'm debuting a new anime called Tekaman Blade. I think you're going to like this one. And then we're going to finish it off with another anime movie presentation of Wrath of the Ninja. Okay, I'm going to cut this short so you can get to the show. I'll give you a review of Guardians of the Galaxy next week. Until then, sit back, relax, get some food, grab a drink, enjoy Super Saturday morning, and when this episode is over... Go out to your local comic book shop and support them for free comic book day. I'm not sure if this is just a thing in America because I know some of you are in the UK, but hey, that's what Google's for, right? <laughs> Enjoy your Super Saturday morning, friends. Professor of Chemistry. Dumb 
brother book our gig in little old Puddle Town. Sorry, sis, but it was the best I could do. And speaking of doing, you're doing a crummy job of getting us there. We've been driving around in the fog for hours. But I've been giving him directions from this road map. No wonder we're lost. You've been reading a chart of the stars. Golly, we're halfway between Venus and the Big Dipper. Oh, I'll get us there. Let me do the driving, Alex. Hey, cut it out! Lights! My head's stuck! Yeah! Hey! Watch it. Follow that bus. He must not escape us. assistant. You see, I was experimenting on a formula of invisibility. I tested the formula on one of my lab specimens. Success! He became invisible. Golly! Do you mean invisible, invisible? You're putting us on, aren't you? No, no, it's true. That night, my untrustworthy assistant sneaked back into the lab. <laughs> he drank the formula and rendered himself invisible. <laughs> now he intends to use his invisibility in a diabolical scheme to obtain secret information for his own benefit. If he's already invisible, why is he pursuing you now, Professor? Because he knows I have created this formula which will make him visible and spoil his evil plans. Wow, you are in trouble, Professor. Why don't you let us hold your formula for safekeeping? Is safekeeping sort of like housekeeping? If Mr. X catches up with you, at least we can get the formula to the authorities. That's an excellent idea. I'll be the one to hold on to it. And for the time being, you'll be safe with us while we do our gig in Puddle Town. We'll go inside and see if Belfort is still with those meddling kids. I'll apply bandages and wear gloves so I can accompany you. Let's go. Look, there's Professor Belfort with some of the kids. After the pussycats start playing, watch for my signal and we'll put my plan into action. <laughs>
What is the recipe for the formula? Recipe? Oh, that's easy. First, you mix up the butter batter, and then you put in the egg whites. Oh, boy. Her dumb answers are going to blow up the machine. Are you giving me the recipe for the formula? No, silly. The only recipe I know is for a peanut butter omelet. Now, after it's all mixed up, you put it in the blender. No, no, I think you cook it first, and then you sprinkle coconut on it. Molly, what happened? Come on, Melody. Let's grow up out of here.
Let me have the remote controls, Alexandra. I'll test it now. Oh, why waste time testing? I can operate it. Let Valerie test it, sis. You'll goof up for sure. I don't know why you wanted to test it first. It works fine. I hope so. It'll be back with Mr. X and his henchmen any minute now. Yikes, you can say that again. Look! After him! It's all your fault for making a stool pigeon robot. I told you we should have tested it first. <laughs> please, please, girls, run now, argue later. No trace of Professor Belfour anywhere. Hey, what's up, cats? Stop and take a look around you. Listen to your heart. Stop, look and listen. Now we may tear our love apart. Tear our love apart. Tear our love apart. I can't see the danger signals in your eyes. I realize you're thinking about leaving me. You know I've been true to you. What can I do but ask you if it's true? appreciate you youngsters capturing Mr. X and his henchmen and rescuing me. We were glad we could help, Professor Belfour. How long will Mr. X remain invisible? This antidote will make him visible again, right now. Let me have it. I'll make him drink it. No, no, you don't drink it. You spray it on. Watch. <laughs> Meddling kids! Golly, that made him appear again. And now I'll make him disappear again for a good many years, in jail. Boy, all this running around has left me thirsty. Here's some of my potion left that changed our personalities. If Alan drinks it, maybe he'll switch his attentions from Josie to me. Here, Alan, dear. I'll give Alan a drink, Josie. Ooh! Hey! Cut it out! Ouch! Ouch! Cut it out! You big metal wolf! Ouch! Now stop it, you tin Casanova! Ouch!
I most heartily recommend Cheetos, cheese-flavored puffs. They have real cheese flavor and come in two kinds of crunches, baked to a delicate crunch and quick fry to a crackly crunch. Cheetos, cheese that goes crunch. Jenner presents new alien action figure. Alien action figure, new from Kenner. No more will I treat you like some kind of alien. Three minutes to minimum safe distance. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets, especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop! Know it's dangerous to play in the street? Yeah, they should be using a playground. Hey, feed it, you kid. Yeah, don't come back. This here's the private turf of the Yancey Street Gang. Did you see that, Benji? Come on. Well, 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 look who's here. The Centerville Squares. Spike, you big bully. Those kids have just as much right to play in this junky old vacant lot as you do. Oh, yeah. Well, our clubhouse is here, and we ain't gonna have no nosy little twipes hanging around. But, Spike, this lot is big enough for everybody. You're right, Benji. In fact, with a little muscle, this place could be made into a playground. Great idea, Kelly. Well, if you want to see some muscle, just try muscling in on our territory. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want to see some muscle, just try muscling... In, uh, just like Spike said. Yeah, right. So beat it. Come on, Benji. We're wasting our time with these clowns. Looks like we need a little help. To handle those guys? No, to clean up the lot. What? Do you seriously expect me, Ronald Radford, to help clean up a dirty lot full of garbage and junk? Yuck. And I hope you don't expect me to go down there and ruin my hairdo. Okay, forget it. But you'll miss the playground opening ceremonies honoring those who do help. That's right. And there'll be lots of reporters. Uh, reporters? And photographers. Photographers? Reporters? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Motorcycle and messing up society will come to order. Any old business? Yeah, I need a new chair. That's no business. Hey, Spike, look, we got visitors. Well, here we are. This is it? Yuck. I don't believe it. They came back to clean up the place. And to think I had the tailor design my new overalls for this. Here, Ronald. We gotta stop them. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go out there. Don't race your engines, guys. I got a plan. You let them work up a sweat first. <laughs> uh, Ronald, why bother to dust that old hunk of junk? Well, you don't expect me to take a nap on a dirty sofa, do you? Hold still, Kelly. I'm touching up my makeup. Darn it. She made me smear my lipstick. I'll have to start all over. Let's see how far our little fixer-uppers get without this, uh, trailer. 
<laughs> Jeepers, I wish this thing had stopped moving. I smeared my lipstick again and... Moving? Help! What was that? It's Betty. The trailer is broken loose. Come on. Help! Help! Hold on, Betty, we're coming! Bing ring, do your thing! Now to stop that runaway truck. Uh, um, it ain't easy being a living legend. Help! Somebody help! like it's time to move the moving men. Oops, a daisy. Look at me. The idol of millions, direct and traffic. Oh, no! My favorite dress shop. There goes my charge account. Ding! Oh, thank you. Next time you go and shopping, young lady, you ought to take the bus. Now it's our time for a little fun. Hey, fun? You see what they left us? Our own little motocross track. <laughs> hey, yeah, a motocross track. Hey, what are we waiting for? OK, you guys, follow the leader. Yahoo! <laughs> you to park your bike outside. This ain't no garage, you know. Look! Oh, no! Spike and his gang made a bigger mess than before. Hey, I've got an idea. Uh, wait here, and I'll be back in a flash to get rid of that trash. I wonder what he's up to. Beats me. Here I am, gang. Where did you get that? This tractor? Why, it's a birthday present from dear old Dada. You got a tractor for your birthday? Uh, no, a farm. The tractor came with it. <laughs> oh, no. More trouble. Didn't I tell you, Squares, this was our territory? Yeah. Didn't Spike tell you, Squares? We're only cleaning the place up so everybody can use it. Oh, well, in that case, we'll help you. Come on, guys. That's my tractor, you ruffians. Put the pedal to the metal, Spike. <laughs> Some nerve. Hey, Spike, take it easy. Oh, God, why don't you slow this thing down a little? I got it started, didn't I? What do you want? I I gotta do everything. If you can't stop it, can't you at least turn it? What the heck would that do? It'll save us having to buy new bikes. Look, they're doing our job for us. I'll bet that's the first real work those creeps ever did. Look who's talking. Did, did we try that one? Oh, no. How about this one? Will you get out of my way? Let's see what this one does. Hey, Spike. How can we see what it does if we can't see? What was that? 
I don't want to know. shook them up. Boy, I racked my brain all night trying to figure out how to get some playground equipment. Me too. Oh, no. Huh? Look at that. The empty lot is all fenced up with lead pipes. Keep out. Headquarters of the Yancey Street Gang. Now we'll never finish the playground. Oh, yes, we will. Thing ring. Do your thing! What are you doing? You'll see. Ta-da! Wow, you made a monkey bar for the kids. How about a kitty slide? Great idea. You like it? It's beautiful. And we'll need a swing, too. You got it. Uh-oh. I almost forgot. We gotta have a clubhouse. You did it! A real playground! Nothing to it. It was a lead pipe cinch. <laughs> Aren't you worried the Yancey Street Gang might try to mess up things again? Not after a certain bright orange character that we know had a little talk with them. See? <laughs> Looks like they got the message. Wanna punch in the nose? Says who? These are knuckle busters with sound effects record. When you're fighting with knuckle busters, one punch in the nose and zap. Back the other guy goes. You fake him with a left. Throw a knuckle buster right to the nose. And zap. Back he goes. You need good timing with knuckle busters. Soon as you see an opening, give him a shot to the nose. And zap. Back he goes. Knuckle busters. The two fists to fight a game with sound effect records from Hasbro. Baby, I like you. She can drink, she can eat. Look, beautiful Baby Alive is eating her own Baby Alive food right from the spoon. And she's drinking from her bottle. Her skin feels so soft. She's so cuddly. I love you, Baby Alive. Baby Alive, the doll that eats and drinks. She's from Kenner. <coughs> And I'm gonna sing a song for you And Bill's gonna show you a thing or two You'll have some fun now With me and all the gang Learning from each other While we do our thing Now, 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 gonna have a good time It's Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done so let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! So 
sorry I'm late, but a guy borrowed my car this morning. You know, I don't mind lending people things, but this dude's starting to push his luck, I'm telling you. I mean, first he borrows my records, then my golf clubs, and now he's got my car. Hey, well, what do you know? Here he comes with my car right now. <laughs> He wants to borrow cab fare home. <laughs> hey, it's old Weird Harold. Let's see what the kid's up to. Hey, hey, hey. Who's your friend, Albert? This is my cousin, Benny. He's staying with me for a few days. Hey, what's man, happening, Benny? Like what's going on, bro? Man, what's going on? Glad to meet you, fellas. Say, man, could I have a little taste of your ice cream? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. You know what? I think I'm gonna like you, dude. In fact, if I had a dime, I'd buy a big ice cream and give you all a bite. Albert, you got a dime? Oh, yeah. Sure, Benny. You all get ready to wrap your old lips around some ice cream, cause Benny will be back in a minute. Hey, your cousin's really cool, Albert. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Except that's the third dime I loaned him today, and now I'm broke. Don't worry, Albert. As soon as we start shining shoes, we all gonna be rich. Oh, oh man! Oh, yeah. Billy, what happened, man? Just as I was about to buy some ice cream for you guys, this big dude, about nine foot six, walked up and grabbed my dime. I told him that dime was for my buddies, but he just knocked me down and laughed. Wow. You think he's still around here? Nah, we've seen the last of him. And I've seen the last of my dime. I'll make it up to you, Albert. I'll pay you back out of my shoe shine money. Any minute now, we, we start getting rich. You think we'll get rich in time to go to the movies this afternoon? Of course we will. Say, how? can I borrow your brown polish a minute? Sure, Benny. How about a shine, son? Yes, sir. Quick, Benny, give me the polish bag. I've got some brown shoes here. Brown <laughs> shoes? Step right up, sir. I got plenty of brown polish to slap on him. Yes, sir. Quick, lend me a brush. <laughs> There you go, mister. Hey, Albert, your cousin just stole my first customer. Come on, Hal. He didn't do it on purpose. Did you, Benny? Heck no. Besides, there's plenty more customers around. Here comes one now. Shine, mister. How about a shine? Shoe shine? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, son? My mama said that if I didn't make some money shining shoes today, I couldn't come home no more. I never heard Benny's mama say that. In that case, I'll take a shine. In fact, do a good job, and I'll pay you double. Yes, sir. Hey, Leo, come on over here and let this little dude shine your shoes. He needs the business. Man, look at that Benny getting rich with my polish. Yeah, and my brush. And my shine rag. Don't go away, Jess. I'll be right with you. Oh, brother. 85, 90, 95, one dollar, a dollar five, a dollar ten. Hey, Benny, that was a pretty cheap trick you pulled, man, stealing all our customers. Come on, fellas, relax. This money's gonna pay our way into the movie. You mean you're gonna share it with us? Sure. What kind of a friend you think I am? Didn't answer that till after the movie. See, I told you Benny was cool. Yeah, man, let's go to the movies. <laughs> I'll get the tickets. You guys wait here. Okay, Benny. Man, ain't Humphrey Go-Kart the coolest dude you ever saw? All right, Louie. How's about me and you taking a little ride down the river so you can go for a stroll in your new cement shoes? Hey, hey, hey. Here's my man Benny with the tickets. Uh, I'm afraid I, I had a hole in my pocket and lost all my money. Just had enough left to get myself a ticket. Oh, no, I wanted to see Yeah, I want to see him, too. Oh, oh man, let's go. Me, too. Come on, now. Yeah. No 
problem. All you gotta do is sneak in through the back door. I'll save you some seats. Uh, I don't know about that, Benny. Listen, you wanna see the movie, don't you? Yeah. Well, I guarantee it'll work. <laughs> Benny, where are you, man? <laughs> Cynthia, darling, what's wrong? Oh, no. I can't stand this loud stuff. I hate you, I hate you. You know, you're really very beautiful when you're angry. But when she's happy, ooh, talk about ugly. <laughs> darling, say that you love me. I must hear those words. Oh, Eric, I do love you. Kiss me, you fool. Man. You'd have to be a fool to kiss her. <laughs> All right, now comes the good part, huh, Albert? Albert? Hey, where's that Albert? I swore that Albert was behind me when we snuck in. Shh, I'm trying to watch this movie. Albert, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Sit down, man. You're missing the coolest part. Let me see your ticket stubs. Here's mine. OK, but what about the rest of you? We lost ours, sir. Just what I thought. You snuck in here with your fat friend. All right, let's go. Don't worry, guy. I'll let you know how it is. Boy, now we'll never know if Huffy Bogart escaped from the big big house. Yeah, and it's all Benny's fault. Wait a minute. Benny didn't mean to lose the ticket money. If he lost it. What do you mean? If, Cosby? You calling my cousin a liar, man? I'm calling him a convenient loser. Hi, guys. What's the matter? We didn't get to see the movies. That's what's the matter. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to you, Benny. Listen. You dudes didn't miss a thing. Those movies were drag. Is that why you sat through them twice? You think I did that because I wanted to? I did it for you guys, so I could remember all the scenes and tell you about them. Yeah, all you ought to be shaming yourselves. Anyway, we can have a lot more fun playing cops and robbers than watching them in some old movie. That's a cool idea, Benny. Hey, we, we can use those old coats and hats we, we wore at Halloween. How about lending me yours, Albert? Yeah, sure, Benny. I'll go home and borrow some of my dad's clothes. Hey, Albert, are you sure your cousin's name isn't Big and Benny? on my side. <laughs> okay, I'll stand all you guys. Let's go. <laughs> I think I'll shoot out the tires. That copper's going for our tires, Lefty. Give him the slip. Right, boss. Hang on. on the roof. Thinks he's pulling a fast one. I'll sneak up there behind him and get him with this box of dynamite, boss. Good thinking, Lefty. Boom! Boom, what? You missed. 
<laughs> I didn't miss, man. I just blew you up. You still missed. I couldn't miss, man. I used 200 tons of dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't sitting where the dynamite went off. That was a dummy of me. Oh, man, you're really a turkey. I ain't no turkey. Ha! Not only that, man, but I don't want to play with you no more. Now, what you think about that? Well, what's wrong, but Albert? My dad gave me a spanking because I got his new hat and coat muddy. If Big Benny hadn't borrowed your clothes, man, you wouldn't have got no trouble. Yeah, it was all Benny's fault, as usual. Hey, what do you guys have against Benny? All day long, he's been trying to do you favors. No, that's all right, Albert. I know when I'm not wanted. Here's your hat back. <laughs> You said you lost the money, Benny. Looks like that hole in Benny's pocket led right to his hat. Benny, you are really uncool. I thought we were your friends. You are, man. I was saving this money to buy you all double-decker ice cream cones. What flavor do you want? We ain't hungry. I could make those cones triple-deckers. <laughs> Forget you, dudes. I don't need you anyway. I don't need nobody. Half the fun of being friends is sharing things, and that's something Benny just doesn't understand. <laughs> I mean, he's sort of like this gum machine here. You know, you put the money in, and the money's in, but still, it's all take and no give. But I really feel sorry for the little dude, because he really wants to be one of the guys. It's just that he's going about it all the wrong way. Hey, maybe I can help him out. Calling Fat Albert. Calling Fat Albert. This is Fat Albert. Go ahead, man. Yeah, hey, listen, it's me. I was just thinking, Albert, I'll bet your cousin Benny could really use a friend right now. He already used all his friends around here. Well, he's really not such a bad guy, you know? He just needs somebody to set a good example for him. Like his older cousin, you dig, Albert? Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll give it a try. That away, Albert. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Benny, friends again, man? Forget it, Albert. I'm going to make me some new friends. Hey, man, let me have a lick of that ice cream. No, man, buy your own. OK, but just one lick. Sure, man, sure. <laughs> I like you, man. I think we're gonna be good friends. We are? Sure, and since we're your best buddies, how about you lending us some money to buy ice cream? Gee, I don't know. Man, all I have left is a nickel. <laughs> Whoop. Drop something, friend. This is a cool lid, friend. Mind if I borrow it for a couple years? But I... I knew you'd understand, man. That's what friends are for. What's up, Benny? Besides you. Real funny, Al. Get me down. How'd you get up there? Man, you just missed it. First the stuffed dude asked me for a lick of my ice cream and ate the whole thing. You mean just like you did, Russell, this morning? Yeah. Then they just up and took all my money. You mean the money you made with our shoe shine stuff? Yeah, and not only that, but they took my favorite hat. Boy, I sure am gonna miss that hat. Just like you made us miss our favorite star, Humphrey Gokart? Yeah, I think I see what you're getting at. Guess I'm not much different from those guys, huh? You might say that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, can we play? You can play, Albert, but forget Benny. It's no use, Albert. Those guys just don't like me. It's not you they don't like, man. 
is some of the things you do. And that's something you can change whenever you want to. Now, come on. We're sure glad to see you, Albert. Those guys got us outnumbered. Step aside, boys. I'll take care of those dudes. I got you, Benny. Me too. That goes double for me. No, you didn't. This is only a mirror reflection of me. I'm really over there behind you, and I've got the drop on you, and... and Benny? And... and you got me. <laughs> Uh, well, it looks like Benny's headed in the right direction now. Of course, he isn't going to change overnight now, but he's trying, and that's the important. Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> this must be the only tin can telephone in the world with a party line. Give a listen. girl, Crazy Mary, you put some in her drink, man, she, <laughs> yeah, Spanish, oh, yeah, that's really groovy, man, Spanish fly is groovy, yeah, well, Sheldon then it comes up, says, boys, I spy is going to Spain. <laughs> A childhood dream come true. I'm tired of candy, tired of gum, tired of hunger. And food that's no fun. I'm tired of pretending I don't like spaghetti. But school lunch keeps me roaring ready and rock steady. Pizza, spaghetti, burger. With Chow Daddy in your school cafeteria, it's the fun place to be for lunch. Desserts. with 
pump action, up to 25 feet of firing power, and water clip for fast loading. And now the water grenade set. Pump them up and let them fly. Chopped liver. It's a great honor for NASA to invite us to view the landing of the first Mars probe, and I intend to make the most of it. So just stay out of my way, Buster. Mars Explorer 1 has re entered the atmosphere, and she's right on target. Oh, great. We got here just in time. We're picking up an image on the TV scanner. Exactly where is it supposed to land? Oh, Peter Parker, don't be such a pest. Be a good boy and go take some pictures or something. Why don't you be a good boy and go take some pictures? Who does she think she is? Up there! Careful, that Mars soil sample is highly radioactive. Boy, that's got to be the most important hunk of dirt on Earth. Quick, get that soil sample secured. What's happening? The weather report was for a perfect day. <laughs> Fools, the weather is perfect, but no one can forecast the coming of the Sandman. I'll bet he didn't forecast the coming of Spider-Man either. This is what I came for. Okay, hold it. You're under military arrest. <laughs> Don't waste your time. You'd have a better chance trying to stop a hurricane with a fly swatter. Since we don't have a fly swatter, you're stuck with me. Spider-Man! Who'd you expect, the Hulk? And speaking of fly swatters, that gives me one heck of an idea. Strike one, web swinger. Go on back to the minor leagues where you belong. 
<laughs> it's times like this, I feel like I'm all washed up. Can't somebody stop him? Oh, where's that worthless Peter Parker? Why isn't he doing something? I'm sure he's doing everything he can. Quick, turn your radar to full power. Hmm, everybody thinks he's a general. These high-frequency microwaves ought to blow the Sandman back into harmless dust. Give it up, Spider-Man! Your childish efforts can't hurt me! Okay, Big Mouth, let's hear it for my childish efforts. You overconfident fool! You're beginning to floor me! Well, well, looks like Spider-Man just lost his head. Oh, no! Just my luck. Without my mask, I don't dare fight. Look at him, running like a scared insect. Uh, now to finish what I came here for. He's opening the canister. The sand's radioactive. Let's get out of here. What about your friend? Peter, don't worry. He can take care of himself. Once I absorb this Martian soil, I'll be ten times as powerful as I am now. Done. Now nothing can stop me, not even that meddlesome web slinger. Boy, did I take a wrong turn. These Everglades are getting spookier and spookier. Ever get that sinking feeling? People call New York a jungle. Web shooter, don't fail me now. Uh -huh. Well, that leaves me one choice. Don't take this personal, but I think it's time I put some distance between us. invited to dinner as the main course. I've got one chance. If I can get this blasted web shooter to work. Come on. Do it now. <laughs> Who do you think you're staring at? The unknown comic? Last. Boy, I'll never tear up a paper bag again. Can't afford any more slip-ups. I'm down to my last Spidey suit. You, Peter! Is that you? I didn't hear you come in. Aunt May. Coming! wonder how you managed to sneak in the way you do. How was Florida? Oh, great. That's nice. I came up to tell you it's chilly outside, and I want you to wear a sweater. But, Aunt May, I... Uh... Just be a good boy. You know how easily you catch cold. Uh, right, Aunt May. Uh, thanks for reminding me. That's a good boy. Now I won't worry so much about you, dear. Yes, this telegram just arrived for you. Better read it, dear. It looks important. To Peter Parker, you are requested to attend a disciplinary meeting this afternoon at 4 p.m. Failure to attend will mean immediate dismissal from school. Signed the school board. Oh, no. Four o'clock. The only way I'll ever make it in time is by the Web Express. Next stop for Citibank. Hey, where's that sandstorm coming from in the middle of the city? Now it's over. They never suspected it was the Sandman who slipped into their armored truck. This cash is peanuts compared to the millions in the First City Bank. Now it's time to turn this money bag into a sandbag. you 
ordered from the Federal Reserve. What do you mean, new bills? That sand. Correction, it's the sand man. Look out, get back. He's radioactive. This is Bronx Guard number 10. The Sandman is robbing the first national bank. As if I didn't have enough trouble with Sandman, now I've got the school board on my back. And I don't even know why. Yikes, I just remembered. I left my closet door open. If Aunt May sees my spidey suit hanging there. Oh no, my spider sense is tingling. Can't worry about Aunt May at the school board now. At least I can stop wondering what Sandman's up to. Those poor cops don't know what they're in for. Freeze, Sandman. Put your hands up and surrender. Whatever you say, gentlemen. It's a lead-lined cell for you, Sandman. Fools, observe. It's time you learned the full power of the new radioactive Sandman. There's one guy who's really too hot to handle. Spider-Man. It's nice of you to remember, but you can call me Spidey. Can't you get it through your thick skull web brain? I'm invincible. Nothing you do can stop me. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, dust breath. But you'll leave me no choice. Hey, what's happening? I feel so weak and dizzy. That's the idea, Webhead. Thanks to the radioactivity I absorbed from that Martian soil. Ah, even a spider would get a shock from a million volts of electricity. So long, Webhead, and I do mean so long. Can't activate my web shooter. Too weak, too weak. spare cartridge of web fluid. Good thing my web fluid's rubber-based. Otherwise, I'd have gotten quite a jolt up there. I'll say there's a million volts in that line. Well, thanks again. I've lost the Sandman, but maybe there's still time to get to the school board meeting before I get kicked out of college. Yipes, I've only got 15 minutes to make it across town. Attention, attention all units. Sandman has just been spotted at Broadway and Maine. One of these days, I'm gonna wise up and chase girls instead of crooks. Trapped in a dead end. But that's no problem for the Sandman. He's escaping. But at least I can snag the money. It's not so hard to get your hands on some money. Look, it's Spider-Man and he's got the loot. He must be in cahoots for the Sandman. Hey, that's a fine way to talk about your friendly neighborhood web slinger. Come on now, Spider-Man. I just want to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Keep the change, boys. Sandman escaped through a subway grating. Maybe I can still catch him. Doesn't make sense. He's got to be here somewhere. I am, stupid. You're standing on me. Huh? It was fun while it lasted, Webhead, but for you, the party's over for good. There, that ought to keep you nice and cozy till the next train comes along. <laughs> that does it. I'm canceling my membership in the Sandman fan club. This blasted city needs more taxis. Imagine me, G. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, having to take a subway. Huh? Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh, no. 
Just my luck. The one guy to hear me is old Hatchet Face. All right, Spider-Man. What kind of sneaky trick you up to now? Uh, hiya, neighbor. I, uh, wonder if you could spare a helping hand. Well, whatever your plan is, I'm getting a picture of it for the bugle. Oh, no. Only Jameson would think I was doing this on purpose. Uh, sorry, lady. This is an emergency. What? Stop, thief! Help! Jameson! This isn't a stunt, you idiot. This is for real. You don't fool me, you web singer. Whatever you're up to, I'm gonna get it on film. Oh, great. You can pass out snapshots at my funeral. A heavy blast of web fluid is my last chance. It may make this rail slippery enough for me to slide out. These pictures will be worth a fortune. I knew it was a trick. Well, thanks for the help, Cuddles. But you can relax. Your favorite web slinger is safe and sound. There's him, officer, and there's a carry stole from me. Okay, you're under arrest, buddy. You have the right to remain silent. Silent? Why, I'm J. Jonah Jameson. I never remained silent in my life. Take your hands off me. You hear me? I'm a very close friend of the chief of the police. I'll report this to your superiors, you picklehead. Wow, it's a pleasure listening to old Skinflint yell at someone else for a change. But right now, I've only got one minute till I'm kicked out of school. Okay, let's get this gold down to the vault. Don't strain yourselves, fellas. Let me help lighten your load. Simon! The one and only! Oh. Oh. Oh, no, it's the Sandman. Looks like I'll never get to that school board meeting. And I've still got to get my closet door shut before Aunt May finds my extra Spidey suit. It's days like this that make me wish I'd stayed in bed. Hiya, Sandy. Is this a private bus, or can anybody ride? But, but, but you're dead! As the man once said, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Well, this time they'll come true! me an idea. Let's just hope old Sandhead wants that gold bad enough to follow me into my trap. You fool! Do you really think you can outrun the Sandman? This is one way to launder money. Slinger, now none of your tricks will save you. I've got you now. A little sand, a bag of cement, a dash of water, and presto! Get ready, Whiphead. I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Hey, what's going on? I, I can't... That's the idea, Cemented. Why do you think I led you into the cement mixer? 
I'll leave you and the gold for the police to deal with. I'm already late for a very important date. Excuse me, this will only take a minute. There, the priceless Martian soil sample is safe again. Now to try and get Peter Parker back into school. Now, Miss Beaumont, you say that when Sandman and Spider-Man showed up, Peter Parker disappeared and left you totally helpless? Why, yes, indeedy. He just left me completely helpless. That's a very serious charge. And since Mr. Parker evidently refuses to defend himself, I'm afraid I can only rule that... Spider-Man! Excuse me for busting in on your party like this, but Peter Parker has been unavoidably detained and asked me to drop off the Martian soil sample which he helped me save. Peter Parker helped you, Spider-Man? Now, don't y'all listen to him. Peter Parker is nothing but a big coward. And Peter asked me to give you these, too. Hmm. Thank you, Spider-Man. Based on this evidence, all charges against Peter Parker are dropped. But as for you, Miss Beaumont... Now all I've got to worry about is locking my closet door before Aunt May peeks in. Oh, my. Peter left his closet door unlocked. Hmm, I've always wondered. What? What in the world? Uh, what's wrong, Aunt May? Peter, I don't believe it. You're not friends with that awful Spider-Man, are you? Perish the thought, Aunt May. I just couldn't decide which outfit to wear to the school costume party next week. Mercy sakes, you had me worried. Hmm, wear the Hulk suit, dear. He's much more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> When you've got muscle, that's how it goes. Yeah. SST Muscle yeah. Cheese. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. Barreling home now, this is the one. You bet. This is the big guy that's big on the fun. Bigfoot, let the power go, you know what to do. Bigfoot, he's stepping up to win it for you. SST Muscle Cheese. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. SST Muscle Machine's Bigfoot. Batteries not included from Play School. Warlord ready, powers on high. Just like those big boys, she's itching to fly. Yeah, she's looking for trouble. SST muscle machines. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. Those dual stick shifters make her really move. Go big on, bad go. warlord's got go, nothing go. to prove. It's bad. SST muscle machines. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. SST muscle machines warlord. Other muscle machines sold separately. Batteries not included from play school. After years of peaceful existence on the distant planet Valoria, Questar and his people were forced into battle. The power of their step crystal ripped a hole in the fabric of time, sending them backward to prehistoric Earth. Unaware that at the same moment the evil Emperor Krulos was plotting to capture the step crystal with his own grotesque Rulon forces. And so the battle continues in a new place in time with Dino Rider. Just a few more feet and your stable walls will be in place. Hey, Questor! Let me give you a hand! Glad, glad, no! Everyone all right. No injuries, sir. I guess I pulled 
too hard, huh? Uh, lad, why don't you go to the North Training Field? Gunner's working the Taurosaurus class, and I, uh, I think they're short a man. Yes, sir, I'm on my way! Yeah, sure. Tag's riding solo. You can crew with him. Great. Thanks. Now I can show him what I can do. <laughs> you mean what we can do. This is a team effort, lad. Okay, listen up, man. Your Taurosaurus is packed with enough firepower to wipe out anything you'll encounter on the battlefield. If you know how to use it properly. That's what we're here to learn. Drill one. Nova, Boulder, you're first. Tag and lad, you're on deck. Engage individual targets. Very good. Now, laser barrage. Good work, man. You've been paying attention. All right, now, tag and lad. Okay, lad, it's the switch on your left. I know, Tag. Just let me show you. Engage individual targets. <sighs> Not bad. Okay, now for the heavy artillery. A uh, lad, did you flip off the safety catch? I guess I forgot to. We've got to work together. That's what this exercise is all about. Okay, lesson two. Field maneuvers. Three against one. The three of you against one of me. Let's see how good you really are. It takes two of us to handle this thing, lad. We've got to get together. Well, we almost had him. Nice work, man. Now, let's try it again. I have a better idea, Dino Riders! This time, let's do it for real! My Triceratops versus your Taurosaurus! I'll give you a chance. I'll sit this one out. <laughs> Crystal, rule on alert. We're under attack. Reinforcements needed urgently. We're on our way, Gunner. Try to hold him. We have to arm up. Rulon alert. Arm up and move out. Gunner, hold off those Rulons as long as possible. It'll take us a while. And right now, it's us against them. All right, everybody. Just remember what I taught you. You have a dead chance, Dino Rider. Teamwork! <laughs> That's 
Shall we win a battle? Our battle is just beginning! A battle between you and me! Prepare to meet your ancestors, Dino Rider! First, though, your Taurosaurus shall meet my Tyrannosaurus Rex! Let Crudo show you how to squash a Dino Rider! Face it, Dino Rider! You haven't a chance! <laughs> Give me cover and fire, all of ya! I don't know what's wrong with my lasers! He who takes on Crudo's takes on the and he who takes on one Dino Rider takes on all Dino Riders. I'm pleased to see you're still hanging tough, Gunner. <laughs> Nothing like a few rulons to make our day, Questar. Glad you could make it to the party. Big fella, pull back! Got here just in time. Uh, it looks as though your students learned fast. All of you, you did a great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone did a great job, but me. I'll bet I could have taken on that dumb Krulos if my main lasers hadn't jammed. All right, Dino Riders, back to camp. If I'm ever gonna be a hero, I'm gonna have to do it myself. Come on, boy, we'll show them we're as brave as the rest of the Dino Riders. Once again, I have been betrayed by my underlings. <laughs> no, not a traitor. I know how to deal with traitors. This is something much worse. I am betrayed by the constant incompetence of my underlings. Here, I am the greatest warrior of all time, surrounded by the dregs of the universe. But a great leader triumphs in spite of difficulties. And in spite of you, I shall destroy the Dino Riders. I have only to wait for the right moment when they are at their weakest. Then, I will crush them once and for all! To your posts, all of you, await my command! You shall not fail me again! Hey, has anybody seen Lad? I haven't, but he's usually somewhere around here. Believe it or not, I've looked everywhere. No, I'm not going to answer him. And I'm not going back until I can prove that I'm a hero, too. That's something I have to do myself. Strange. I, 
I sense Lad's presence, but I get no response. Could he be injured or lost? Attention all troops. Mount up for massive search party. Dino Rider Lad is missing. I'll cover on my Quetzalcoatlus. Gunner and I'll head out on the Taurosaurus. Great crews, your moment may be at hand. The Dino Rider base is at half strength. <laughs> this time I can feel it. Victory will be mine. Rulons, to your mounts! What's that? Finally, a chance to be a hero. Hold on, guys. I'll get you out in no time. The racket! Oh, great. Now I've made it worse. I guess I better call for help. All right. Got you covered, little buddy. Tag and I are on the way. Questar, we found Lad. He's okay. Gunner and I are going in for a rescue. Ah, good work, Tag. Bring him home. All troops, return to camp. Lad, half the camp's been out looking for you. What's up? There's a herd of Taurosaurus trapped on the ledge behind that pile of rock. I tried to help, but... Let's try again. To her, lad. And listen, she's really upset. <laughs> yeah, and there's why. Poor guy must have gotten shoved off the edge. Don't worry, fella. We'll get you back to your mom. <laughs> Believe this is yours. Lad, mission accomplished. <laughs> Rulons, the final victory is within our grasp. Let the attack begin. What is it, Mind's Eye? I... I sense danger. Danger? To Lad? Not just to Lad. To us all. The base is under attack! Yeah, trust Krulos to know when to strike. The Rulons must have seen our search parties leaving the base. Oh, this is my fault! The troops are all looking for me. Well, don't be too hard on yourself, lad. We're all in this together. I've got to get back to base. I've got to help the others. Dino Riders, this is a red alert. The Rulons have caught us at a bad moment. Every available Dino Rider, mount your dinosaurs. We are under attack. We are under attack. Careful, men. 
Don't harm any of the Rulon dinosaurs. I know that's not gonna be easy. I guess we could count on it. That Taurosaurus herd made a great bunch of soldiers. But I guess they'd rather go back to the wilds and stay <laughs> civilians. Not all of them, Gunner. <laughs> Here you go, fella. <laughs> How does it feel to be a hero? Huh? That Mother Taurosaurus brought her herd here because you rescued them. But I didn't rescue them. Gunner and Tag did all the work. We did it together, lad. We're a team. That is our strength. Krulos has a great weakness. He only thinks of himself. Yeah, and the next time Krulos comes around, I'm gonna... <laughs> we are really going to get him.
and I quickly started to fill our backpacks. Never dreamed of being in far-off lands. Very close to that kite-eating tree. Oh, no! Well, we had a pretty good time today. Snoopy talks. Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Cop can't be everywhere at once. True, Dr. McNamara. Perhaps we should develop something new to help the police operate more effectively. What about my enforcement droid, Ed 260? No, I'm afraid we need a totally new approach. But, sir... Yes, a new approach could be very profitable to OCP. Please begin work immediately. Yes, sir. Training drill, not a garden party. Yes, sir. Yeah! Hmm. 205. Not bad, men. What do you mean, not bad? If that's the best these overgrown Cub Scouts can do, why they wouldn't last five minutes in old Detroit. Let me show you how it's done. Set the difficulty factor at 10. But, Lieutenant, I don't think it's a good idea to. That's an order, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Ready when you are, Sergeant. I hope so. Oh, I know you don't. Did you see that? Keep your eyes open, kid. You might learn something. <laughs> Careless of my old age. Let me take the detour. For an old codger, huh? Hey, look at that! It's Robocop! Robocop! Holy cow! Look at the size of him! Greetings! What in blazes is that walking scrap he doing here? I've just installed a new program, so his reflexes will be 0.07% faster. I want to test him. <clears throat> Are you ready, Robocop? Yes, Dr. Tyler. Oh, brother. That bucket of bolts moves like a three-legged tortoise. <laughs> There's no way he can touch my score. We'll see about that, Lieutenant. You may begin, Sergeant. Right. has 
some pretty good moves, Lieutenant. Yeah, every cop should be equipped with titanium steel plate. But he'll never make it over that wall. You were saying, smart guy? demolished Hedgecock's record. Looks like the tortoise caught the hare, Lieutenant. Congratulations, Murphy. Great score. <laughs> I'll say. But not as good as I'd hoped. We'll have to go back to maintenance for further adjustments. Yes, Dr. Tyler. Aw, oh, come on, Doc. Give him a break. I'd like to give him a break. Right across his steel skull. No! Me. Oh. Sorry. I said be careful with that, you clumsy contraption. Thank you. Have a nice day. I knew I should have replaced that chip in your logic circuitry. But right now, I've got more important things to do, like testing this new fusion ray. Now, let's see. I'll add this to my new design. Whoever wears this robotic suit will be unstoppable. <laughs> yes, I have finally made Robocop obsolete. He did what to your begonias? Don't worry, ma'am. We'll send out a patrol right away. Officer Lewis, domestic disturbance at the Renaissance Towers. No sweat, Sarge. I'm on my way. Uh, I I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Why, I ought to report you for this, Lewis. <clears throat> but I might be persuaded to forget this incident if you dump your nomadic partner and step out with me tonight. Lieutenant, I'd be happy to go out with you. When pigs can fly. <clears throat> Someday I'll show her who's the better man. And it isn't that clanking cyborg. Come on, partner, let's roll. <laughs> What's that again? A payroll heist at Granny Johnson's Bakery? I'll get someone right off. I'll take that call, Sergeant. Come on, man, let's move out. This is the police. Come out with your hands up. Stay back. You try and move in, the old lady gets it. Well, I never. You men hold the perimeter. I'm going inside. Did your mother teach you to respect your elders? And just look at those clothes. No wonder you can't get a decent job. You're beginning to get on my nerves, lady. Drop it, punk. Police! Oh, no, you don't. Ow! What in blazes? <laughs> Looks like you're stuck, copper. Oh, dear. We just got the bulletin. What's going on in there? I'm not sure. Lieutenant Hedgecock went in alone. Stop that, you hooligan. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, copper. Hold it right there, laughing boy. Huh? <laughs> Murphy, are you all right? Robocop with one shot. <laughs> Murphy! Drop your weapon. Not a chance, Robo Twerp. You drop it, and the old lady gets it. Ew. My God! That'll teach you, you young whippersnapper. What's the matter, molasses head? All those sweets giving you a toothache? Robocop's the only pain I got. 
That titanium tinker toy butted into my operation and stole my arrest. You just want to make me look bad, you reckless robot. Hold your horses, hotshot. Murphy's simply doing his job, like a good cop. You are just jealous he's more of a man than you. More of a man than me? Excuse me. Dr. Tyler said she wants to run a few more tests. That woman's work is never done. I've had it with Mr. Buckethead. He's gotten in my way once too many times. If I had the chance, I'd pulverize him. Really? You bet, Doc. I've been waiting a long time to pay back that talking trash compactor. Well then, Lieutenant, I have a very interesting proposition for you. One that I'm sure you can't refuse. Excellent. Everything is ready. Hey, this monkey suit feels like a ton of bricks. Do not worry, my friend. Once you see what it can do, I don't think you'll have any complaints. First, a little target practice. That's what I call real shoot. Bravo, Lieutenant. Now let's see how good your reflexes are. Try engaging the jetpack. Okay, Doc. Hey, this is great! So what else can this baby do? Patience, Lieutenant. I have just one more test for you. N-260. I order you to surrender. Uh, are you kidding? Enforcement Droid Series 260 is not programmed for failure. Always a first time! Not programmed for failure. For failure. For failure. <laughs> Robocop will never be able to match me. That's exactly what I'm counting on, Lieutenant. No problem. I'm gonna flatten that walking waffle iron for good! Man, Robo's stronger than ever! Why, of course, Roosevelt. I've revamped his circuitry, thereby increasing his power input. Uh-oh, something's up. Look who's here. Sir, is something wrong? Dr. McNamara will be unveiling his latest crime prevention device here. Huh. I wonder what that second-rate charlatan is trying to pass off now. What in the world is that? Please identify yourself. What's the matter, Shorty? Don't you recognize me? Hedgecock? Upsy daisy As you can see, Robocop is simply outmoded. Quite impressive, Doctor. Why, thank you, sir. This is, of course, just a taste of what the power suit can do. Production of the new power suit should begin at once. I beg to differ, Dr. McNamara. Nothing can compare to my creation. Hardly. Robocop is a thing of the past. My power suit is the future. Wouldn't you agree, sir? My only concern, Doctor, is which project would profit the company the most. I propose a test to decide which one is truly the best. What do you say, Tin Man? Ready to go a few rounds with me? I am ready when you are. All right! Robo will make mincemeat out of that phony. I don't feel good about this, Roosevelt. If Hedgecock wins, it'll mean the end of Robocop. The rules of this test are quite simple. The winner must disable his opponent. I have no doubt that Robocop will prove to be the superior machine. I sincerely hope your boy has been taking his vitamins, Tyler, because my power suit is invincible. 
We shall see. Are we ready to begin? Yes, sir. Everything checks out A-OK. -okay. Then proceed with the test. All right! Wait, get my hands on that toaster hand. I'll crack him! I must find Hedgehog before he finds me. Definitely a superior product. Don't jump to conclusions, Dr. Tyler. The test is over, Lieutenant. What a bit, trash can man! Looks like you failed the exam with flying colors! Wrong! <laughs> the test has just begun! <laughs> All right, Wobble Clown! Now you made me mad! is rapidly deteriorating. With his energy almost completely drained, Robocop is heading toward permanent shutdown. Oh, no! Hitchcock's out to kill him! You've got to stop the test! Let's not get hysterical, Lewis. Forfeiting the match might endanger the Robocop project. The test must run its course. I agree. What's wrong with you people? That's a man up there, not just another OCP product! I've got to help Murphy before Hitchcock kills him. This is not going to be easy. Oh. Can't hide forever, Robocop. Tired my cat most. Oh. There's the little tin soldier. This is what I've been waiting for. One small step for man, one giant leap into oblivion for Robocop. Look out! Officer Lewis? Robocop! What's that cop Lewis doing out there? This is the perfect resting place for you, Robocop! The junkyard! Lewis! No, it can't be. I've lost contact with Robocop. I think we can begin power suit production now, sir. Indeed. Look! There! Over there! Something's moving! <laughs> She's dead. Or dying, I can't tell. System's faulty. Hedgecock, I must stop him permanently. <laughs> Did you see it? I aced that sucker real good. No, you didn't, you idiot. He's right there. What the... <laughs> Lieutenant! Yeah! Oh, you're gonna kill me! You crazy robot! You can't do this to me! I got rights! I'm a 
Hedgecock! You're programmed only to harm criminals! You murdered Lewis Hedgecock, and you're going to pay now! No! Murphy! Don't! Don't do it! I... I'm okay. Just a little banged up, that's all. But Hedgecock is still guilty of attempted murder. Everything is on videotape. We can bring him up on charges later. You have the right to remain silent. Hey! You have the right to an attorney. This was a legitimate contest. She had no business being here! Congratulations, Dr. Tyler. Your cybernetic supercarp is indeed a sound investment. Thank you, sir. Now, as for that videotape... Ah, yes. Tapes are such a... delicate things. So easily erased. Terminate the power suit project. I don't want to spend one more dime on that pile of junk. But I... Yes, sir. Oh, why did you do that? We could have nailed Hedgecock to the wall with that tape. We also could lose funding for the Robocop project if that tape got out. Robocop nearly lost control out there. Yeah. I guess he's more human than we'd like to think he is. latest attacks led by Baron Arnblad and his evil forces, seen here in exclusive coverage, have forced the country to take action. With me in the studio tonight is the squad leader from the newly formed SAS and the head of the new Z Force, Captain Grant Campbell, who will be taking command of their combined troops at a secret destination later tonight. More news as it's made from new action force. Other ponies sold separately from Hasbro. Hey, look! A Dungeons and Dragons ride! Wow! Neat! Give me a break. Ranger? Barbarian? Magician? Thief? Cavalier? And Acrobat? Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Nobody likes a dirty unicorn. <laughs> this is a riot. You guys should take this act on the road. <laughs> ah, dry up, Eric. Hey, I'm, I'm all wet. Now there's a bulletin from the newsroom. Well, since I'm wet anyway, maybe I'll just go for a swim. That thing 
wasn't attacking. It was running scared. <laughs> oh, it's only you, Dungeon Master. You are wise to be cautious, my young friends. There is great danger ahead. What this time, oh terrible tour guide? A danger so great that its very existence might keep you from ever finding your way home. What do you mean? If this world is destroyed, you will have no chance of returning from it to your own. Who or what could do such a thing? Demo Dragon, a terrible creature, half demon, half dragon, whose power could devastate the realm. What can we do? Seek out the city called Tardo's Keep. This will aid you in finding it. But how do we stop Demo Dragon? By helping the one who stands against you. What's that supposed to mean? Why can't we ever get a straight answer from... Dungeon Master, we... He's gone. Hey, it's a map. There's Tardo's Keep, beyond the Dustlands. Okay, gang. Let's hit the road. Wrong road, Cavalier. The Dustlands are this way. Oh, oh yeah. I knew that. <sighs> According to the map, this is supposed to be the Wondrous Wood. Doesn't look too wondrous to me. Well, the map says this is... Alicorn River. But it doesn't say anything about it being frozen. Wait, I get it. Something's burned down the woods and frozen the river. Yeah, but what? Remember what happened the last time? I got water, didn't I? Yeah, in a bowl full of goldfish. Yeah. Look, that must be Tardos Whoa. Keep. Looks like we're not the only ones interested in this place. Or soldiers. Ah, oh, terrific. That means Fender's probably not far away. Solanara. Yes, and if they do, let them in. That way we may learn what Venger's plan is. Uh, abracadabra and all those other magic words. Ah! <laughs> Who says losing your marbles is bad? That'll hold him for a while. Yes, we better knock! Oh, brother, I hope somebody's home! Venger! Not so fast, my young enemies! Get inside, quick! Now I have you!
Welcome to Tardos. I am Sulinara, Queen of Tardos. Who are you? And what does Venger want with you? He wants our weapons. Ah, I see. He wants something from us as well. The treasure of Tardos. For years he has tried to trick his way into this keep. Speak truthfully and quickly if you would survive. Why are you here? Hey, lady, it's not our idea. I mean, Dungeon Master told us to come here. Dungeon Master? You know Dungeon Master? Well, well, well we, don't, we don't really know him. I mean, not on a first-name basis or anything like that, but... Quiet, Eric. Yes, we know Dungeon Master, and he did send us here. Ah, this is good. Dungeon Master is our friend. Oh, yeah. He's a great guy, isn't he? <laughs> Old DM and I are just like that, right? Venger! Come with me. Solinara, yield to me your treasure, or face the ultimate consequences. Not even you can break Tardo's keep, Venger. These walls have been strengthened by stone and spell for a thousand years. You may control the rest of the realm, but you will never control us. Sonara, let me show you what I am capable of controlling. trying to do? Your weapons have broken Venger's spell of control. I created you. You cannot defy me. We are safe. For the moment. Maybe the game's not over. Maybe not, but I'm sitting out this inning. I need something to eat. How can you think of food at a time like this? Hey, I can't save the world on an empty stomach. Let's go, shrimp. Who are you calling a shrimp? You have won some time for us, my friends. How much I don't know. Perhaps we will yet find a way to keep our treasure from Venger's grasp. Just what is this treasure, your highness, if I may ask? 
something Venger must never possess. The only known crop of a rare herb that can render the mightiest dragon helpless. Dragonbane. So that's what Venger's after. He wants the Dragonbane to use... Against, against Tiamat! Tiamat. An evil dragon and the only creature Venger fears. Hey! Wait a minute, how come you didn't just dump some of that stuff on Demo Dragon? No, my friends. Venger created Demo Dragon hoping to trick us into doing just that. And the Dragon Bane would have fallen into his hands. But if Demo Dragon comes back, you know he can break down those doors. Sheesh, you risk your people, your city, us, just to protect some. You do not understand. Our people are hiding in a land far away. We who remain are volunteers. We stay to guard the Dragon Bane. And if the gates fall, to destroy it. But... but then wouldn't you... Indeed. Then Venger would surely destroy us. Mmm! Nice! Hi, Eric! It's okay, if you're into smells. Huh? I am pleased you like my garden. Here, please accept this garland. It will bring luck. Gee, thanks! Oh. <laughs> it's probably poison ivy. Eric! Come on! We better get back to the others! Venger will regroup his orcs and attack again soon. One way or another, we've got to get our weapons back. You're out of your mind. How are we going to get them away from Godzilla? Wait! Remember what Dungeon Master said? By helping the one who stands against you. You mean who I think you mean? Diana's right. I never thought I'd say it, but Venger's our only hope. Make friends with Venger. Oh, sure. How are we supposed to do that? Buy him another horn for his helmet? How are we even going to find him or Demo Dragon? That's how. <gasps> Demo Dragon! Demo Dragon is uncontrollable. More powerful than I planned. He will destroy the realm unless something is done. Together we could do that something, Venger. What? You want to defeat Demo Dragon and so do we. Let's join forces. You are a fool. Without your weapons, you offer me nothing. Oh yeah? You've taken our weapons before and we've still whipped you. <laughs> Enough. I agree to your proposal, Ranger. Approach me. Hold out your hands. Afraid? Hank! Wow! Aim the magic talisman at Demo Dragon and call his name aloud. Now go. And seek me no more. The trusting fools. Shadow Demon, take the orcs and, how should I say, assist our dragon slayers? With pleasure, Master. At least we don't have to worry about Demo Dragon sneaking up on us. Let's hope Venger's gadget works. Demo Dragon! Nothing's happening! Venger ripped us off! Come on, let's get out of here! Get down and cover 
your eyes! done that with ten hats. You didn't do it. This did. The treasure of Tardos. So that's what Dragon Bane looks like. Hey, the old gardener said it would bring luck. Hey, I knew it all along. That's why I risked my life to get Uni that close to Demo Dragon. Eric, you expect us to believe that? It doesn't matter what he expects, Barbarian. Surrender your weapons. Now. Shadow Demon, that is the worst idea I've ever heard. Right, guys? Fools, you are outnumbered. Oh, 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 yeah? There might be a zillion of you, but we've got one of him. Me? What are you saying? Who do you think zapped old Demo Dragon, the Tooth Fairy? It was Presto. Listen, Shadow Demon, don't get him mad or he'll turn you into, uh, he'll turn you into... Uh, cream spinach? Yeah, cream spinach. Shadow Demon, take the orcs and retreat. Beware what you say when you speak of magic, wizard, or you shall see who has the greater power. As for you, Ranger, you have destroyed that which I created. How, I am not yet certain. But you have restored the balance. Now we are even. The next time we meet, expect no favors. Likewise, Venger. So be it. Now I've seen everything. Wow, Venger's letting us go. Keep your voices down till we get out of here. We gotta get the you-know-what back to Queen Selenara. Will she be glad to see us? I hope she's glad enough to give us some real food. Oh. What do you know? You eat grass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think maybe Venger's not all bad? Sure, and Genghis Khan was a stand-up comic. <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong, Cavalier. There was good in Venger once, a long time ago. Everyone makes mistakes. Venger was mine. Giving a Care Bear is a very special way of sharing your feelings. Yeah, she's a wish come true. Because a Care Bear's tummy shows just what you're feeling in your heart. Cheer Bear! He'll help you cheer from the sidelines. <laughs> Make any day special for someone you care about. Won't be any fun without you. Sunshine Bear will keep you company. Share your special feelings with a soft, cuddly Care Bear. Each sold separately. Why is it? 
When I serve these new cheese crackers, I get fascinating reactions. Can't place this great cheese taste. Terrific. I recognize this crispness. Great cheese taste. It's new. The cracker seems familiar. Looks like a... A Ritz. It's new cheese Ritz crackers. The goodness of a Ritz baked with cheddar cheese. Is it a Ritz? Or isn't it? Fascinating. Cheese Ritz crackers so deliciously new. to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe Using fatal fluffies, COBRA captures Space Station Delta and destroys Joe headquarters. But this is only the first step in COBRA's master plan to build a pyramid of darkness beneath which no source of electrical energy will function. Snake Eyes and Shipwreck steal a top-secret laser disc and escape to the slums of Enterprise City. And the Joes launch separate teams to stop COBRA from planting their four control cubes. But COBRA's fangs are sharp, and Fred and Lady J sink to their doom as we begin the next exciting episode of G.I. Joe, The Pyramid of Darkness. A fire. The control cube will soon be locked into position. Then no force on Earth can dislodge it. <laughs> what we got here is a semi-standoff. Only Destro can do what he wants, and we can't do diddly. We can't even get to Flint and Lady J. And if that mud doesn't boil them, they'll surely and purely drown. It's, it's good to breathe again, even if the quarters are a little cramped. I don't know. I, I think it's rather cozy for a bubble. <laughs> so, uh, where do we go from here? And not, not us personally, I mean the mission. Why, uh, to the top, naturally. The cube is in place, Destro! Magnificent! <sighs> Destro's still at it, but this time, we might have a shot at him. Boss, Polly want a taxi! Get Polly out of here! I'm not exactly loving this either, your beak ship. But we don't have a lot of options. That looks like a nice place to get some neat. Like maybe a broken leg of lamb. Nice, quiet place! What do you mean, reservation? This ain't no hotel. Okay, forget that. But I ain't seen nobody with no parrot, no dog. Uh, what parrot? What dog? Yeah, well, I don't see no bird no more. But I still see a dog. Funny, that little doggy just disappeared. Uh, take any table you want. Thanks, chump. And now, the Snake Cafe is proud to present Spread a scintillating star, the one, the only, Satin! Oh, 
changed my life one rainy day on our first rendezvous we held hands and i heard him say if you want a romance from me you're barking up the wrong tree because destro has the first call on my life Stuck me with no. the bill, but I think of him still. They're coming for you. Stick close to me. The music won't play forever, and when it's finished, so are they. No time to be shy, Snake. Move those feet. <laughs> Unbelievable. Go, baby, go. Come on, come on. Site placement of the first control cube to you, Destro, because I expected you to be quick about it. But all I've received are excuses. No longer, my esteemed Cobra Commander. The cube is locked into position. What's out behind you? Here's some loose ends to tie you up, Destro. <sighs> this mine should do the trick. What? <laughs> you must forgive me for being an ungracious host, but the control cube will entertain you in my absence. Cobra! Yeah! All right, here comes the cavalry. One more time! Go! Get out of here! After them! Hey, hey, I can't see nothing! I can't see you! Up there! Up there! Don't get fresh with me, you bum! Cover the exits and the basement! They must be here somewhere! Stage. William Shakespeare. What? 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 Cannon, bird brain, shipwreck Delgado. Over there. In here. Okay. Now comes the hard part. You're gonna have to trust me. The ancient guardians of the city of the dead. We must not awaken them from their eternal slumber. We'll we let, let the Joes do, do that for us. Gee, I Joe, but they're ignorant of our movements. Not anymore. They're right behind us. So take cover and, and await developments. Yo, Joe, and here we go. This place looks weird, and that's a fact. What are you getting here, Tank? Radioactive and metallic interference from mineral deposits make it impossible to tell if Cobra's already here or on the way. Well, we can't just sit down and send out for pizza. If that cube's here, we gotta find it. Yo, Joe.
The Joes have unwittingly activated the ancient guardians. And when they have destroyed G.I. Joe for us, we shall plant our cube and be, be gone. gone. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Align the control cube and raise it into position! Two, five, five point seven vertical mark! Excellent! Now, secure it swiftly! Up there! One of the Cobra Cubes! But how are we gonna get up there before Major Blood rains down on our parade? Strategy? Now you're talking, Bazook! I may even quote you in my memoirs! Let's send the guys up this way. Then you and I could climb up the flip face of this mountain and take them from behind. Uh-oh! It's the Joes! They must not interfere with our work! Cobra! Of course, your burning question is, how can our guys get up that ice wall, correct? Right. Brilliant analysis. Fortunately, I happen to have an equally brilliant solution. Yodel. You got it. The good old Alpine yodel. Yodel. Look out, yeah. Oh, yodel. Oh, yeah. Yodel. Oh, oh yeah. A cake for the bridge layer. Defend the cube at all costs, Cobra. Now it's up to us. Let's give Major Blood a nasty surprise. Avanti, Adelante, and go, man, go! Fantastic view, eh, Bazook? Fantastic. Out of my way. Stand back. They've got to be hiding here somewhere. All right, where are they? A gentleman would knock before entering a lady's dressing room. Cool it, sister. Where are those guys you were dancing with? How should I know, you maxi jerk? I've got enough problems entertaining this sleazebag audience without having to answer a bunch of stupid questions from the likes of you. But, but we think those men are agents of G.I. Joe. Then go catch them, you klutz. Now get out of here, or I'll report you to my biggest fan. He buys all my records. Ah, uh, 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 a thousand apologies, Miss Satin. Please say hello to the Cobra Commander next time he's in to see the show. Uh, tell him Colonel Slash sends his regards. Get out, Slush. Th that Slash! Get out! Thank you! <laughs> okay, you guys can come out now. Ah, there's no biz like showbiz! Ah! Now all we got to do is get you out of here before they get suspicious and come back. Look, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but why are you so good to us? And don't tell me we remind you of your family. Well, let's just say I have a soft spot in my head for weirdos. Hold on a sec. Here, get into these fast. And no arguments. You heard the lady, Snake Eyes. Here, you take the dress. Keep them pinned down! The 
Drone Cube is nearly in position. Final alignment coordinate seven five point nine vertical mark. Careful where you plant your big feet, Bazooka. Whoa! Oh. Ah. Whoa! Go for it now. Yo, Joe! P.I. E. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to P.I. E. Joe. I don't want to seem primitive or superstitious, but I have this disturbing feeling. Yeah, tell me, dude. Like, it's like when you're surfing and you just know this killer wave is sneaking up behind you, ready to wipe you out. You guys are getting on my nerves with all that fear talk. Nothing to be afraid of. Let's lay these ceramic suckers out! Now that the Joes are preoccupied, we are free to position our control cube. Without, without interference. interference. <laughs> <laughs> Coordinates 975.6 vertical. Mark. Say much. Two max. What do we do? Yeah, like what? This way! Two points! Roadblock! Footloose! Now we got double trouble! Well, we're just gonna have to take them one at a time. Tomax, watch out! It's the Joes! Zaymut, activate the control cube before it's too late. Right. I'll handle this, buffoon. Ah! Hey, check that out. Each twin feels what happens to the other. You may have one of us, but you have lost. <laughs> What's happening? He's energized the cube! Ah, what's going on, Dusty? This place is vibrating like a $50 milkshake. And they like it, so it can't be good. Say, buddy, Smokey Duke. It marks the beginning of your end. It's completing the cube energy circuit. Darkness, get back! I shall return for you, brother Tomax. Have no fear! Form a unit to babysit the queue. We got this sucker. I'm afraid he's all that we got left to trade. There must be a way to escape. We've got to... Huh? The cube's going crazy. Final 
adjustment! Keep hammering at him! We got to get to that queue before we can start digging for Alpine and Bazooka! Man, now I know how frozen pizza feels. Hoo-wee! Hey, you hear me, Bazook? Oh, uh, barely. Well, stop playing groundhog, buddy. We have a mission to complete. Ouch. What's the matter, good buddy? Leg hurts. When you stand or when you move? Both. Well, then you'll just have to use the Alpine taxi service. Come on, get on my back. So our enemies survived the avalanche. We must now ensure an end to their good fortune. As you command, Storm Shadow. Looks like we got off course. The cube and our guys must be back the other way. The elements shall see to your destiny, G.I. Joe. The coal and the icy sea will be far kinder to you than Cobra. Farewell! If those waves hit us, we'll be flash frozen before you can set TV dinner. Uh-oh. Leopard seals! If you're gonna get talky on me, I wish you'd find something good to report. Oh, no! My weapon froze! Speaking of TV dinners, let's make a sincere attempt not to be these critters' main course! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. In our next episode, Zapot experiences the pain of his twin brother, Tomax, enabling him to locate the USS flag and mount a dangerous rescue operation. And Saturn once again proves her worth to Snake Eyes and Shipwreck in a daring escape from the slums of Enterprise City, while Destro and the Baroness outsmart Flint and Lady J and plant the fourth and final control cube, thereby completing the Pyramid of Darkness and plunging the world into chaos. All in the next exciting episode of G.I. Joe, The Pyramid of Darkness. and Decepticons are reactivated. The Autobots track the Decepticons to the crystal mines of Burma, but their dangerous mission backfires as we begin the final episode of The Transformers. Prime, you all right? Looks bad, Jazz. Ratchet, see what repairs are needed. Let's get him up on his wheels. Ready, lift. Careful. Easy! Easy! Good! Prime, can you hear me? Uh, oh. Still generating. Roller. What? What happened to...
to him. Down but not out. Rolled one tough little Autobot. Prime, can you transform? I... I'll try. I... Uh, I don't know if I can do it. Uh, I've almost got it. Come on, Prime. You can do it. Try harder. You got it. You got it. Come on. Welcome back to the land of movie parts. That was some blast you took. The blast. Bumblebee and Sparkplug. They're still inside. How will we ever find them under all that rock? Only one way. Stand back. Start digging. I found them over here. Yes, I thought we'd heard it. Thanks to you two, the Decepticons are finished. Well, we were almost finished, too. <laughs> Wheeljack wasn't kidding when he said it would blow in 60 seconds. 59.99, to be exact. With the Decepticons buried under all that rock, we can resume our search for the resources we need. And we can return to Cybertron? Very soon, Mirage. Very soon. Deep and lubricant! We can get out! We are indestructible! Power to the Decepticons! Forever! Ah! Energon cubes still functional. Make them and follow me! Scramble! The Decepticons! They're escaping! Them. They're save it, Ironhide. They're too fast for us in the air. Well, I'm tired of sucking their vapor trail. I'll stop them. Ironhide, come back. I'll get him. Blue Streak, no! Call it off, Ironhide. There's too many of them. They're out of reach. Stop yapping, Blue Streak. This is my fight. Make it our fight. Megatron, request permission to teleport. Permission granted. Teleport and destroy. It's like fighting a shadow. You can still talk, old buddy. Where'd you get hit? Back in somewhere. Think my linkage is busted. I'll check it. Get him inside. You gave us all a pretty good scare. It's been worse. I remember the time on Cybertron. Save the war stories, Hotshot. Just remember there's a thin line between being a hero and being a memory. <laughs> Maybe Ironhide's ready for a nice, cushy office job. Hey, no way. Soon as Ratchet tightens a few bolts, I'll be right back in action. We'll see. Let's get out of here. Optimus Prime cares a lot for his fellow robots, and he doesn't want anything to happen to them. I think he'd make a neat president. <laughs> Ah, uh -uh, Ravage, this key's not for you. <laughs> Don't think he likes being a prisoner. Can't say I blame him. You know, I'm surprised the Decepticons haven't tried to rescue him. I'm not. 
They don't care about anyone, not even their own. Hey, Ravage, watch this. <laughs> Here's your friend Megatron to keep you company. Um, when we get back to Cybertron, will you make me a big house with a four-car garage? <laughs> Holograms look so real, nobody will know the difference. Mirage, you just gave me a great idea. A hologram? That's right, Prime. But I mean a big one. What did you have in mind? A gigantic illusion that'll trick the Decepticons into coming to us on our terms. It might just work. What's the hologram of? I've got an idea. I just saw Prime. He told me Teletran 1's located a secret supply of rocket fuel. Where? Not too far from here, about 140 kilometers due west. Then maybe we can go back to Cybertron? Why, there's enough rocket fuel at that base to make four trips to Cybertron. Come on, let's tell Ironhide. Make him feel better. But what about Ramage? Don't worry about him. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> What happened? Ravage. He escaped. Perfect. The rocket base is 140 kilometers due west of the Autobot camp. Excellent, Ravage! Excellent! That rocket fuel is the last resource we need to defeat the Autobots and control Cybertron! Right on schedule, aren't we? No thanks to you, Starscream! I've made my contribution! You've also made clear your desire to replace me as leader of the Decepticons! Mistake number one! It's time for a change, Megatron! It's time for action, not words! I am the leader of the future! You couldn't lead androids to a picnic! How can you pretend to lead the Decepticons? Megatron! It's... it's empty! You failed to dispose of me when you had the chance, Starscream! Mistake number two. Now it's my turn. Please, don't fire. I, I, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. Please, don't shoot. Megatron, Megatron! We attack the rocket base at sunrise. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Attack! Hold it! Stop fighting! What in the universe is going on here? Scrap! Springs! Junk! We've been had. That's right, Prime. I was on your little scheme from the start. Did you really think you could fool me by allowing Ravage to escape? Did you? Go on, Megatron. You're in the driver's seat. While you and the other Autobots have been fighting a bunch of loose screws, the real Decepticons have been at the real rocket site. You've lost, Prime. The Decepticons have won. <laughs> the race isn't over yet, Megatron. Oh, it's over, Prime. You just don't know it. <laughs> Ah! Uh. 
Unidentified aircraft approaching, sir. A lot of them. This is Cape Carlson Control Tower. Identify yourselves. Identify. Over. They're moving fast, Captain. Repeat. Cape Carlson to aircraft. Give us an ID and a flight mission. That's an order. Look, they're coming down. Sound the alarm! <laughs> What's happening down there? Our weapons are totally ineffective. There's nothing we can... Excellent! Excellent! Prepare the Energon cubes! Course back to Cybertron charted. Space cruiser fueled and ready for departure. What are your orders, Megatron? Prepare for blast off! We have come to a moment of truth. The Decepticons are in position to return to Cybertron. We have no choice but to attack them directly. But this battle will be most dangerous. So I ask for volunteers. Jazz? Volunteers, step forward! Autobots, transform! Start your engines! Ready, Prime! Let's roll! Wave. Space cruiser ready for boarding. So very, very close to conquest. Prime to Autobots. Encircle the base. Decepticons, it is time to return to Cybertron and conquer the Autobots forever!
The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to The Transformers. It's over, Prime. We've lost. No, not yet. Sideswipe. Give me your rocket pack. My rocket pack? Now! Uh, yeah, right. This is crazy, Prime. You'll never catch it. I'll be back, Jazz. It's done! We've seen the last of the Autobots and Optimus Prime! Not yet, Megatron. Prime is right behind us. That's impossible. Open the artillery hatch. Should check you out. I said I'm fine. You did all anyone could do, Prime. I don't know. Maybe. Where's Mirage? That's strange. I saw him before, during the fight. He's gone now. At last, total victory is within my grasp. Not yours, Megatron. Mine. <laughs> I see that you have learned nothing, Starscream. Wrong! I've learned a great deal! I won't miss this time! Beware, Starscream. If you dispose of me, there will always be someone waiting to dispose of you. Let them try! I've waited for this moment a long time, Megatron, and my time is now! Autobot Invader! Autobot Invader! Extinction to all traitors! Space Cruiser losing power. Do something, Soundwave! Regain control! Control impossible. Prepare for impact. We're going to crash! We'll be destroyed! No! You can't let us crash, Soundwave! Do something! Do something! I'll say hello to... to Prime for you, Megatron! Happy landing! Stop him! They're going to crash! Decepticons are gone. Our path is clear now. They were on their way to Cybertron. Must have been a mechanical failure. I don't think it was a mechanical failure, Jazz. Look. Mirage! You did it! You stopped the Decepticons! <laughs> we knew you were anxious to get back to Cybertron, but at least you could have waited for us. Sorry, Prime. The ship was full. <laughs> well done, Mirage. Well, let's get back to the base. We have a ship of our own to repair. Can I go back to Cybertron with you? Maybe you better ask your father. Can I, Dad? Only if I can go with you. All right, let's go home. Autobots, transform. <laughs> Because the Autobots stopped the Decepticons from stealing Earth's resources, the governments of the world have agreed to give Optimus Prime the energy he needs to revitalize Cybertron. It's probably the first time all the governments ever agreed on anything. Well, that's it from Earth. Next stop, Cybertron. Ready, Spike? It's almost time to blast off. 
I'll be right there, Prime. One more thing. I sure am glad we don't have to worry about Megatron and all those Decepticons anymore. The Transformers will return after these messages. and Poochie's eyes are pretty. Well, Poochie and I have to go now. Oh, yes. Tell Mom Poochie wants to stay here one more week, okay? P.S. I love you. Poochie, with hearts in her eyes and a heart around her neck. Poochie by Mattel. Hey, paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! With the Mario Brothers and Plumbing's a game We're not like the others who get all the fame If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers Some tough job. Yeah, but we're the Mario Brothers. We're the best. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be fun having an exchange student here, no? Yeah, and he's a smart one, too. What do you mean, smart one? How do you know that? Well, because he sent his luggage ahead of him. Whoa, some luggage. Yeah, it got Whoa. here this morning before you woke up. No kidding. Oh, hey, wait a minute. There's a note here. Let me see. To the Mario Brothers uh, from Transylvania. Please open as soon as possible. It's stuffy in here. Whoa, Transylvania, forget about it. This is our exchange student that counts Zoltan Dracula. Come on, Mario, help me open this thing. Uh, right, well, I think over here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, give it a push, right, give it a push, right, give it a bang. Just, is it come? No, oh, come on, give it. Oh, I got it, I got it. No, I don't got I think it. From the front here, I, think I got, I got it here. Front. I got it, I got it. No, I don't got it. This side, I think it. Hey, yeah, Mario, I'm going to tell you the truth. I hate these childproof boxes. Well, then make them tight. I got it, I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Go ahead. Did you order a dead guy in a tuxedo? Oh, no, not me. Greetings. You must be Mario. You must be Luigi. You must be kidding. This place is a dump. Oh, well, wake me up at sunset. I am a night person, you know. Mario, if 
forget about it. There's something very strange about this guy. What's so strange about sleeping in your clothes? The Mario Brothers went out for a quick bite. They'll be right back. Hey, Zoltan, wake up! You're gonna miss the show! Yo, 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 it's the Mario Brothers. The plumbing's the game. Found the secret water zone. We're working on the drain. Lend the princess a hand in the mushroom land. Join the action with the plumbers. You'll be hooked on the brothers. Now, evil Koopa and his troopers are up to misbehaving. They kidnapped the princess mushroom land. Meets saving. Abusing and confusing. Everybody discovers they can't help. Number 442. The princess needed a hundred gold coins by tomorrow morning, or else the Mushroom Kingdom orphanage would have to close down. We were desperately thinking of some way to raise the money. I could hawk my jewels. You already hawked them. I could mortgage this cottage. You already did. Well, you're all brilliant people. You make a suggestion. <gasps> We sell the royal cow. Okay, it's your decision. Come on, Luigi. Let's see what this Guernsey can earn. See. I think you should have sent me, Princess. I know the used cow market. Nonsense, Toad, I need you here. And who could possibly mess up a simple thing like selling a cow for cash? The Marios? Just tell us how many gold coins you'll give us. She's the royal cow. Frankly, friends, there's just not much demand for this model. She's a real hay burner. Tell you what, I really like you boys, so I'm going to take her as a trade in. We don't want to trade, we want to sell. Right! We need moolah! Money! Cash! Look at this hair beauty! Four spigots, white sidewall hooves. You get at least 20 gallons to the hay bale. I'll trade you even. You're not listening, mister! We don't need another cow! We need 100 gold coins! Anybody can sell a cow for gold coins. Hey, we're anybody! How many gold coins are you gonna give us? <laughs> well, this is your lucky day, boys. I'm going to give you a bargain you'll never forget. Or my name isn't Dylan Dalbert. You sold the cow for what? Bean seeds. Real special beans. Garbanzo beans. Show them, Mario. Dylan Dalbert said we really got the sweet end of the deal. I can't believe this. You traded the royal cow for a handful of bean seeds? Shrewd city, Mario. Who wants cash money when they can have a few garbanzos instead? Gee, he really made it sound like they were our answer for everything. Well, they're not. And I'm allergic to garbanzo bean seeds. <laughs> Achoo! Good riddance, princess. I'll go to town in the morning and see if I can't con that con man out of a cow. Meanwhile, we'd all better get some sleep. <laughs> Achoo! Appeal to that used cow salesman's sense of decency, Toad. This is a time when we just can't be cheated. Don't worry, Princess. I'll take care of you. Huh? What's wrong? Why don't you... Ooh! Holy ravioli! Uh-oh. Great garbanzos! Princess, you're gonna have a lot more money to save the orphanage than a cow could have gotten you. How's that? There's tens of millions of garbanzo lovers in the world, and we're...
we're about to pick enough beans for them all. We do with our little blood sucker. Watch this.
for the rest of your lives. <laughs> Eventually, you'll be crushed by them. Watch this. Lay! I'll be done. A goose that's better than the U.S. Mint. That goose is gonna smother you, brothers. Lay! Hey, Cooper! I hope you're big and tall, Shop Loser! With you! Can you help me? I gotta get out of here! I'm laid out! You've gotta get out of here! How about us? I know a way if you can get me down! I shouldn't help you! Cause of all your gold coin laying for that Cooper Creek! Okay, where's the way out? Under there. Before the coins covered it, I saw part of the garbanzo beanstalk creep through a tiny crack. Look! The crack's grown bigger! Goosey, we're good as gone. Everybody ready? Just a thing for this bean stuck in our plumbing bag. How can I ever thank you? With gold coins, baby? The princess here could use them to save the mushroom orphanage. Sorry. Without Koopa and his magic spell, all you get are plain old eggs. Like one? Forget it! I'm telling you, there's something very strange about this old time guy, huh? Uh, last week, this guy tells me he's been going to night school for over 300 years. Shh, don't mean nothing. How about the barber, Pasquale Caputo? He's been going to high school almost as long. You're right. Yeah, but come to think of it, he does sleep all day. <laughs> so do you. Unless, of course, there's an Inspector Gadget Marathon on TV. Yeah, but I don't sleep in a box. <laughs> Hey, Mario, find out who this guy's cleaner is, huh? Why? I don't ever want to go there. Jeez. Look at these bills, huh? Bills and more bills, huh? $300 from a blood bank. Uh, $42 uh, for eyewash for those big red eyes. Uh, $32 for dental floss for them big teeth. Here comes the sun, little darlings. No, 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 no. Blood bank? Um, eyewash? Dental floss is a vampire! Oh, 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 oh,
I'm scared. But I'll take care of you. Don't no worry. I bid you welcome to these delicious scenes from the legend of Zelda. This is the Triforce of Wisdom, Link. The evil wizard Ganon has the Triforce of Power. Whoever gets both Triforces will rule this land forever. You must help me, Link. Hey, for you, Zelda, anything. Ah! Ah! Amobi! Doesn't Ganon ever quit? Ah! Chapter one, drive a stake through his heart. Are you crazy? Stake is 459 a pound. Mm -hmm. Right. Here we go. Chapter two. Take a pot filled with water, boil for two hours, add a little olive oil, slowly add basil, a pinch of oregano, two cloves of garlic. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. That's mama's recipe for tomato sauce. I knew it. She's been trying to kill us for years. What else you got? Aha. If all else fails, send the vampire to the grocery store for some bread. While he's gone, you move. Excuse me! Relax. Would you really like to know how to get rid of a vampire? Yeah. Just ask me. I'll be out of here like a bat. <laughs> what does it say that? You can take off your garlic necklaces now. We'll be back. Until the next time, do it alone! Everything you see here. Other Forever Friends sold separately. New from... Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the Star Wars saga began, and Kenner continues the excitement. Chewbacca! Roar! It's C-3PO that you can take apart, and other action figures each sold separately. Take me to Han Solo and Princess Leia. What happened? Han, Leia, sneak attack. I'm all in pieces. What a mess. Put him down, Chewie. How's that, C-3PO? Wonderful. Han Solo C-3PO with backpack and other action figures each sold separately from Kenner Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Let's go. 
school that we're singing where the misfits spit. told you to stop playing in the faculty parking lot. See, you've lost another life. Oh, and how is life treating you this morning, Mr. Schneider? Better than it's treating Clawford, Headmistress Crone. Thanks again for the personalized parking plot. I'm honored. You've earned it. You took over a class of misfit kids that I was ready to expel. Ah, uh, deep down, they're just normal kids. Normal monster kids. Well, Keep up the good work. Ta-ta! Schneider. Does this one belong to you? Cleopatra, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. And it's all Mr. Boneyard's fault for not getting bigger doors on this street. Ugh. If I bust a bandage, I'm gonna sue. Don't strain yourself, Cleo. I'll, I'll help you out. Hey, what a touch. Sorry, Mr. Schneider. That's okay. I heal quickly. Oh, Frankenstein! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! No way, man. Promises, promises. You know, Schneider, you're all right. For a human. Gee, that means a lot. Coming from a monster like you, Mr. Boneyard. Well, guess that's it. Hey, you forgot about me. What's the big idea? Let me out of here. Sorry, Sid. Didn't notice you. Oh, that's the story of my life. Are you kidding me? Sid, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. But I was yelling so hard, I got a sore throat. <coughs> when you're an invisible kid, no one ever notices you. That's why I'm the class clown. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Pretty funny, Sid. But you don't have to be the class clown. I know you're here. Mr. Tutner. <laughs> Morning, Schneider. Yeah, I had Tutner for history. That 2,000 year old breath is murder. <laughs> Boy, little Schneider gets a lot of this. 
Well, this is really me. I couldn't do a thing with my snake this morning, Cleo. Don't worry, Doozer. I'll whip them into shape before Vinny gets here. <laughs> Leo, how many times do I have to tell you I do not have a crush on Vinny Stoker? Hmm. Hey, that's my diary. Get it back. Sometimes I wonder if Vinny Stoker even knows I'm alive. <laughs> this is juicy stuff, man. Uh oh. Hand over the diary, flathead. Hey, back up, bimbo. What's going on here? He swiped my diary! What the... Please, everybody, back to your seats! What about my diary? Hey, somebody lose a book? Kinda looks like a diary. Vinny Stoker, read that and you're dead! I can live with that. Glad you could join us, Vinny. I've got everyone's undivided attention. We can begin today's class with a very simple question. What do you want to be when you grow up? And in Frank and Tyke's case, I hope it's not an artist. Oh, oh, I know what I want to be. Okay, Sid, you're on. Great, because that's exactly where I want to be. On stage, with a packed audience, standing room only. <laughs> Whoa, move over, Robin Williams, because here comes Sid the Invisible Comic. Whoa, fantastic. Kids, let's hear you clap. Sid's gonna do a monster rap. Hey there, Reggie, you're super smart. But when it comes to chicks, you need a jump start. And Cleo here is always grooving. Talking or eating, her mouth's always moving. Blanche has yards of credit cards. They're all expired, but so is she. She shopped till she dropped, now she's a zombie. JP's a twerp that don't need to work Cause he's got big bucks, but he's such a jerk Very funny, Sid. Come on, class. Let's hear it for Sid. Thank you for that warm applause. You're a great audience. <coughs> Fine, Sid. Now, let's hear from someone else. Well, hey, I'm just getting warmed up. I've got lots of jokes. And what about my Michael Jackson impression? <coughs> Put a zipper on it, Sid. Yeah, you stink, man. <laughs> okay, now that's enough. Settle down, or we're not going to accomplish anything. Hey, forget it, Teach. We're not supposed to accomplish anything. Why do you think we're in this dead-end class, huh? I can tell you why I'm in this class. I'm here to teach. And as long as I am, you're here to learn. And if you can't handle that, Mr. Stoker, there's the window. Whoa, Teach, hey, don't bust a blood vessel. I was just thinking out loud. Whoa, sorry I'm late, teacher dude, but there were some bodacious waves breaking down in the swamp. <laughs> hey, Gil, watch where you're slinging that seaweed. I'm sorry, Sid, dude, didn't see ya. <laughs> hey, little dude. Hey, Cleo, don't bogart those French flies. Well, glad you could join us, Gil. Now, let's continue our discussion on what we all want to be when we grow up. I want my own dance club, the Snake Pit. I want to be the wealthiest monster in the world. And I want to marry the wealthiest monster in the world. Rally, I do. I'm getting a job in the cannery, dude. <laughs> I want to do stand-up. Sit down! I want to be the first monster astronaut to fly into space. I flew on a jet once, but the turbulence made me lose my launch. You mean like this, man? Then all these people started crowding around me. I was so embarrassed, I almost died. Again. But what about you, Vinny? What do you want to be? Hey, I can only be one thing, Teach. Cool. Oh, 
<laughs> Cedar, you all right? Come closer. So, did you hear the one about the priest, the rabbi, and the monster? Watch all the racket in here! Uh-oh. It's Sid, Headmistress Crone. He seems to be seriously ill. No, really, there's nothing wrong. I was just... Don't interrupt. We can stand about you. Maybe we should take him to the school nurse. She ran off. And what about a doctor? He ran off with a nurse. Really, there's no need. Then I'd better get him to community hospital. <clears throat> That's a human hospital. What's your diagnosis, Doctor? Well, I don't see any problem. Of course, uh, I don't see any patient either. I'm not sick, I tell you. <laughs> That's what they all say. Hmm, this doesn't look normal to me. They should coat his tongue so we can get a good look at him. Come on, boy, open up. <coughs> Yuck! Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, hmm, we need more tests. I hope I did the right thing. Maybe I shouldn't have left Sid all alone at the hospital. Calm down, Mr. Schneider. The faculty lounge is a place for rest and relaxation. Ah, uh, yes, we all come here to unwind between classes. Would you care to join me? It is tempting, Miss Dirge. But there's no way I can relax until I find out if Sid is all right. There, there, Mr. Schneider. I'm sure those human doctors won't find anything wrong with Sid. In fact, I'm sure they won't find Sid. Well, if you ask me, it's all Schneider's fault. <coughs> Sid probably caught some nasty disease from you. I told you not to hire a human. <clears throat> Whatever happened to Monster Prime? Ignore him, Mr. Schneider. We're not all human haters, like Coach Cadaver. Yes, yeah, some of us even think that humans are cute. <laughs> it's almost visiting hour at the hospital. I'm gonna take some of Sid's classmates over to see him. ta -ta! Oh, and don't forget the faculty brunch on Sunday morning. It's open casket. I hope you like my new suit, J.P. Can I get you anything else? Some back jerky would be nice. Shark surfing is radical, man. Yeah, little dude. They're more primo than jet skis. But they're a lot harder to turn. Turn? Yeah! I think I'll take a little dip. I need to practice my cannonball. Whoa, if she's getting in, I'm getting out. Hey! Mega Cannonball, dudette. You really thrashed that board. Okay, kids, let's hit the showers. We're going to visit Sid. Hit the human hospital? No way, Jose. Humans are creepy, man. You couldn't even pay me to go. Well, Teach, looks like we're not going. I'm really surprised. Sid's a monster just like the rest of you. I thought you'd at least be looking out for each other. But I guess you're just looking out for yourselves. Ah! Whoa! Teacher dude, overboard! <gasps> He's not breathing! We have to get him to the hospital. Forget it, man. I'm not going. Hey, wrong. We're all going. Step on it, man! Mr. Schneider seems to be going into shock. Mm. Uh, I'm afraid this may be serious. I'm like shocked myself. Teacher dude is looking way trashed. Oh, great. That's all we need is another Gravedale step for a teacher. 
I hope he has a good life insurance policy. <laughs> hey, yo, up there, Boneyard, shake a leg. This ain't no funeral yet. Yeah, if we don't get Mr. Schneider to the hospital quick, he might not make it. I'm not used to driving on human roads, Cleo. I must observe and follow their peculiar habits. Up. Something wrong, officer? Okay, wise guy. What excuse you have for running that red? <laughs> we are going to the hospital. Holy Toledo! A busload of accident victims. Follow me, I'll give you an escort. I hope we're not too late. No, we're right on time. Visiting hours have just started. He's recovered. It's a miracle. Whoa, mega miracle. Hey, that was no miracle. Teach tricked us into coming here. That's cool. Well, as long as we're all here, let's drop in on Sid. Don't worry, son. X-rays are perfectly safe. Oh, really? Then why are you fellas dressed for a nuclear meltdown? Hmm, just as I suspected. Yes, I'm afraid we'll have to remove his tonsils. Tonsils? Ouch, babe. I'm out of here, and I mean that. If I catch any human germs in here, Mr. Schneider, you're going to hear from my attorney. Hospitals hold bad memories for me, J.P. Last time I was in one, I died. Rally, I did. I know you kids are a little nervous, but just think how happy Sid will be when he sees your faces. Ah! <laughs> This is Sid's room, and that's Sid's stuff. But Sid's not here. At least I don't think he is. Sid, are you in here? At least he left his lunch. Mm. Cold and soggy, just the way I like it. You kids stay here. I'll go find the nurse. Ew, smells like your new perfume, Blanche. Rally it does. <gasps> well, I never. Uh, actually, this mixture appears to be a medicinal solution of magnesia mixed in with pink dye number 16. Whoa! This stuff tastes like surfboard wax. What are these doctor dudes trying to do to that poor little invisible dude? Waste him. We gotta find Sid, man. I say we split up and look for him. No one's taking out my tonsils. Heck, Sid. By a stage left, galloping all the way. Ah! An invisible man! Please don't hurt us. We're just kids. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a kid too. Except I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm very ticklish too, darling. <laughs> hey, you're not scary. You're funny. Oh, you think that's funny? I bet you've never seen an invisible Michael Jackson juggle. I love you. I love you all. <laughs> For that warm applause, you're a beautiful audience. So that you're gonna be my last. I understand you haven't seen him, but you couldn't have seen him because he's invisible. Yo, Sid. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa, a snack bar. Cool. What is this burn victim doing wandering the halls? Look at these bandages. Oh, I'll bet they haven't been changed in years. Two thousand years, and let me go. I have to find Sid. Ah, oh, babies are so cute. Even human babies. Kitchy, kitchy, cool. <laughs> babies just love me. Well, I can't find Sid, but at least I can do some shopping. Oh, dear. You shouldn't be on your feet. Here, let me help you. Gracious, what service. Why, I must shop here more often. I concur, Doctor. These x-rays are inconclusive. Inconclusive? 
Why, it's perfectly obvious that the lumbar vertebrae is pressing on the sciatic nerve, causing severe back spasm. Hi, George, he's right. Ah! Get this out, little dude. I'm hanging six. Whoa, look out, geezer, dude. Yeah! Radical, tandem style. This is just wonderful. Not only have I lost Sid, now I've lost my whole class. You were right, Mr. Schneider. There was nothing to be afraid of. Hospitals are great. I got a full rewrap for free. Hey, refreshments ain't bad either. Uh, I got to make a diagnosis. I got to chew up the babies in the maternity ward. And I got to do some shopping. Really, I did. Whoa! It's a radical time, girl, dude. This hospital place is the best, man. No, don't tell us. You're here to visit the invisible kid who just had his tonsils out. Tonsils out? <laughs> Sid, you're the greatest. But you better rest your voice. Kids want to try some monster ice cream? Ah! <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> well, what do you think, Mr. Schneider? You did it, Sid. Standing room only. Hey, kids. One of your favorite rap artists has a new show on NBC. So get ready to rap with Kid and Play. Premiering next, only on NBC. At last, I've got He-Man trapped with my walls of evil. Oh, yeah? Fascisaurus bashes evil away. Skeletor, He-Man figures, and Fascisaurus vehicle each sold separately. Bash away! Vashasaurus, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. Not for use with some figures, each toy sold separately. From Mattel. I want to tell you something. Yes? I don't want you following me around, expecting me to show you the ropes. Following you around? Yeah, I can't let the alien girls get the wrong idea. But once they see an Earth boy, especially one as cool as me, I'll be more popular than I was on Earth. And I don't want you messing it up for me. You don't have to worry about me. I won't go anywhere near you.
Apollo Davinus, your class president. Welcome to Galaxy High. I thought you Earth people shook hands when you met somebody. We do, but, uh, well, we don't really know which hand to shake. All of them. Come on, let me give you a tour of our school. You know, Amy, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we humans should stick together. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. And I was wondering, how would you like a date? Get serious. I am serious. Sure. Okay, that'd be fun. Good. Then you can go out with this. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead with you. <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle of outer space with a mental midget. <laughs> and these are your lockers. X234V9 and Z4229Q. Welcome, baby. I'm your personal locker. I'll carry your books, help you with your homework. I'll answer your every need. Thanks. <laughs> Don't expect any special treatment from me. I ain't no slave. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I'm sick and tired of you rotten kids. You want to keep books inside of me? Fine. That's it. No clothes, no food, nothing but books. Hey, and no smelly socks. Sorry about that. He was the only other locker that would take an Earth person. Come on, I'll show you the gymnasium. Now this is odd, very odd. What? I can't find the gym. It was here yesterday. Oh, there he is! I'm Jim. You're in luck. A girls' gym class is in progress. Girls? Gym class? All right! Introduce Doyle and Amy, our exchange students from Earth. <laughs> now, ladies, ladies, relax, cool down. Now, I know you've never seen an Earth boy before, but relax. There's enough of me for everybody. Now. <laughs> I thought the girls would go nuts over me. Are you kidding? The male population here outnumbers the females three to one. They're nothing special, but she is. Hi, we haven't met. I'm Bowie Bubblehead. Who are you? Amy. Hi, I'm Bowie Bubblehead. I know. H huh? H how do you know my name? You just told me. I did? You'll have to excuse Bowie. She's absent-minded. I, I, I am not absent-minded. I, I may be forgetful, but I am not absent-minded. I'm Wendy. I've got this little black book with a description and rating of every single boy in this school. Hi, I'm Gil the Gossip, and I can tell you any secret you want to know. Billy Big Dipper says he's from Venus, but he's really from Saturn. And Clarence Comet is flunking algebra. And Martha Meteor is allergic to peanut butter. And hi, we haven't met. I'm Bowie, Bubblehead. <laughs> girls, girls, girls! Back to your outer aerobics. See you later. Aren't they sweet? Yeah, sweet, real sweet. Attention, attention all students. Tonight at 7.30, the Film Society presents that classic horror film, The Spine Chilling. I was a teenage human. This is our homeroom. Dragos! 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 How many times have I told you? Using your X-ray vision during a biology exam is cheating. Now, what are we going to do with you? 
Hmm. Aha! Lead sunglasses. <laughs> These should keep those X-ray eyes under control. There! Miss McBrain, I'd like you to meet our new exchange students. Amy Bright Tower. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Your grades are impressive. Your record is outstanding. As principal of Galaxy High, I am pleased as plutonium punch to have you at our school. Thank you, I... Ms. McBrain, I'm Doyle Cleverlobe. And might I say that you are even more beautiful than I've heard. And might I say that you have an awful lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure there are plans in the files for both of you. Let's take a look. Blackboard? Yes, we do have plans for these earthlings. Big plans. Amy, because of your excellent grades, you are the recipient of our Galaxy High School Scholarship. To help you get your classes a new Xenon X5000 Turbo Space Coupe DeVille! <gasps> wow! Hey, what about me? Yes, Doyle, we have something for you. Because of your incredibly poor record, your irresponsibility and laziness, you will have to take a part-time job at Luigi's Lunar Pizza Parlor. A part-time job? But why? To pay for your tuition. No scholarship? Did you hear that, folks? He wants a scholarship with those grades. Ah! Get a spaceship? Oh, most certainly. We don't expect you to walk through the universe, Doyle. You are the recipient of a used 37-year-old Benson Hofflinger Model 1. Seven thousand. A skateboard? This isn't fair. If you did your schoolwork, Doyle, none of this would have happened. I want to go back to Earth. I'm afraid that is impossible. Impossible? Why? Because Galaxy High School is your last chance to graduate. Oh, I hate it here. Nobody appreciates me. <laughs> That's your problem. Thanks. Everybody's mean. Nasty. I'd give anything to see a friendly face. Just one friendly face. Well, hi. What a cute little doggy. Aren't you cute? Now, class, to make ice scream, you take the ice and squeeze it. Sludge. He loves earthlings, if they're properly salted, that is. Well, what's he doing in here? Sludge is the school janitor. A dog? A janitor? Sure. He can do anything. Show him, Sludge. Electrical work, painting, plumbing. Sludge, I, I, I think it goes the other way. <laughs> So he's got a little to learn about plumbing. He's still the best garbage disposal this side of Jupiter. Show him, Sludge.
Jasper isn't really from Saturn. Clarence Common is flunking everything and... Hi. Have we met? I'm Bowie, Bubblehead. Mm, good, eh? And Milo has glommed onto Doyle and... Oh, I'm the creep from the planet Sarabeek. Your heart belongs to me, yeah. At night when you're asleep, into your spaceship I will creep. Buzz off, creep. <laughs> no, it's okay. He's kind of cute. I'm cute. How she said I'm cute, that was me. Amy, you shouldn't have said that. Why not? You're gonna be my new best friend, and I'm never gonna leave your side. Never, not once, not even, forget it, no, not. We're attached? That's the idea. Oh, come on, B -b unlock this thing. No, I if I were to do that, uh, we wouldn't uh, not we wouldn't be together for 24 hours a day. But I don't wanna be together 24 hours a day. Uh, but, but, but I, <laughs> I do, and, and only I know the combination. Why do you think we call him the creep? Oh, my God. I think it's time I made some friends. Uh, Dial? I love it! I love it! <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Doyle Cleverlobe from Planet Earth. <laughs> hey, pal! Watch where you sit! Earth stinks. Oh, yeah? Hey, put me down! <laughs> those guys. I tried to. That was the Bonk Bunch. Beef Bonk is their leader. Nobody makes friends with them. <laughs> Professor Eisenstein? Ah, Milo. French fries. My favorite. <laughs> How good from you. <laughs> no, wait. Professor Eisenstein, these aren't French fries. This is my friend. Your friend? Oh, my goodness. What planet is he from? Earth. Earth. <laughs> so this is what Earth people look like. No, no, no. He fell into the French fryer, and you put him back together? No problem, Milo. We just toss him into the molecular reconstructor. <laughs> uh, uh, why is it so cold in here? Professor Eisenstein comes from the planet Froster. He has to keep his classroom cold, or he'll melt. In, in, in. <laughs> there. No, no, that's a flubbing, not an earthling. Earthling, eh? Earthling, Earthling. Aha, yeah, well. Here we go. Great, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Professor. That is my pleasure.
It's you. It's not you. Not you. Okay. Nah. Nah. Color? Pinky beige. A color? Chartreuse. did not order anchovies. Hey, what's the matter for you, Earth Boy? You, you work so slow, you gotta be faster, faster. You should work like him. He work hard, he work fast. He got a six of arms. Table seven. pizza platters and she gained so much weight she had to buy a whole new wardrobe. Amy? What happened to your hair? Your skin? I mean... We took Amy style shopping. Didn't we? But you look so different. <laughs> yes, isn't she a box? Tomorrow she's getting her green skin. We asked for extra cheese. Take it back. More cheese. I don't get it, Milo. I was so popular back on Earth, but I get here and everybody treats me like, like an alien. Why the sudden cold shoulder? You've been ignoring me ever since we got here. You asked me to leave you alone, remember? Out of my way, you boy. You're dancing with me now. You mind? This is a private discussion. <laughs> him to a game of Zaggle Ball. Yeah, then you can humiliate him in front of the whole school. Don't you just love it? <laughs> Tomorrow, after school, the gym, me and you, Zaggle Ball. Zaggle Ball? I think on Earth you call it hooky. That's hockey. Yes, only the puck is alive. Boy, 
Let's see you win this now. Dial, play football! Dial has won it! We did it! Look at upset! One of these days, I'm gonna get that earth back. Terrific. Thanks. It looks like you're a big man on campus again. Well, not really. I'm still gonna have to keep proving myself. You sure will. Say, listen, Amy. Maybe the two of us could become friends. Sure, Doyle. What are you doing Friday night? No plans. How would you like a date? Oh, well, Amy, I could... Yeah, that'd be fun. Good. Then you can go out with... Gilda Gossip! <laughs> How about a kiss, Earth Boy? I'll, uh, I'll get you for this, Amy. in the hearts of men? <laughs> the Shadow knows. The evil Khan calls on his fiendish friend, Dr. Makino. But Ninja Shadow, with blazing eyes, has the power to stop them. Makino and Khan take off. Ninja Shadow chases them in his mirage. Each sold separately. Will they get away? Who knows? <laughs> the Shadow knows. Now you can get a free Shadow Agent's ring. It changes. Just like in the movie. Send in two proofs of purchase for many Shadow toys for your free Shadow hologram ring. Wow. The Shadow knows. Anyway, send in the Marines! We're the Space Marines! Drake, Ripley, A-Phone, Bishop, and I'm Hicks, armed with the latest high-tech heavy metal. Look out, Hicks! The Queen's gonna crown ya! My Bug Rocker's on a roll! Valerian attacking! Eat torch, Bug Brain! Alien invasion problem? Send in the Marines! Aliens! Send in the Marines! Space Marines! Aliens! No more will I treat you like some kind of alien! Three minutes to minimum safe distance. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. Living under the bed, I gobble up the sock before you turn your head. Like a boat to life, I make your heart jump. My name is Mr. Bumpy, I go bump, 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 yeah, bump, 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 you can bump with the doll, bump with the bug, bump on the ceiling or bump on the rug, and you can bump too from the east to the west. Just bump with the monster you love best. Bump, 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 What thrills, what chills! The final finale of the Mr. Bumpy Super World Bumpy Ball Bowl! And I'm winning! Here it is, the final pitch! And it's a three-pointer! It's all up to Squishington now! A line drive over the center fielder's head! Bumpy goes back, back, he's to the fence! It's going, it's going! 
wonder where Bumpy went. I got the ball! I made the catch! I fell out the window! So how come I'm not falling? What do I... Flying object thingy! Definitely not of this boy's room. Wonder if there are any alien invaders inside, or maybe Elvis. Oh, look, Slimoth, an invader. Must be a disgusting Earth creature, like that last <laughs> singing one we found. Has our invasion been discovered? Could it be a preemptive strike? Bah, puny Earth creatures. Must we demonstrate our obvious superiority? Oh, very well, then. <laughs> Where's my stuff, devil? We can't shake him. Then we'll just have to bake him then. No. <laughs> oh, what kind of horrible creature is this then? <laughs> oh, 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 quick, fly away before any more of them can attack Go Go. <laughs> Ooh, those lips, those teeth. <gasps> He must be a savage, limb-ripping monster bent on eating brains or, or something. <laughs> Abandon mission! Abandon mission! No, Glug. If we let one puny earth creature repel us, we'll be the laughing stocks of a species. Savage, limb-ripping strength is no match for superior intelligence. Though extensive reconstructive surgery may await the victor. Right. Good luck. Ooh, what a view! I wish I'd known I was going to be kidnapped by a UFO. I'd have brought my camera. Well, beg your pardon. As a superior intellect, I must insist you vacate this flying saucer immediately. Please. Ah! A real-life space alien! Cool. Say, uh, handsome, you wouldn't be planning anything uh, nauseatingly disgusting like taking over the Earth, would you? Oh, no, it's already planned. I mean, no, we have no plans, no plans to take over the Earth, not even a little, not us, not we, royal we. Us? You mean there's more than one of you? Oh, no, yes, I mean... Oh, 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 stay away, help me, Sleemo! Hey, wait, have you considered taking over Graceland instead? <laughs> it's worse than we feared. The Earthling knows all about our invasion. He must possess some strange mental power. Oh, no! Oh, no, look! Greetings, aliens. I must warn you, any attempt to save your planet from invasion is doomed, then. Invasion? Oh, boy, this is going to be great! You will let me help you, won't you? Huh? Huh? I got some pretty invasive plans myself. First, we get everybody on the planet in one room. And then, when they're busy introducing themselves to each other, we relocate all the doorknobs to the opposite sides of the doors and then yell, Dinner! Pretty good, huh? Ooh, that is just crazy enough to work. We'll soon be rid of you, puny Earth creature. And then, hey, careful with the merchandise! I'm sorry, it may chafe you just a wee bit. I get it. It's all part of the invasion, right? Correct, doomed Earth creature. First, the test. Ah. <laughs> 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 Did I pass the audition? And now the disposal, and then... Oh, no! I'll clean up the mess. <laughs> Can I do that again? How about a million more times? It's just a thing to get me into shape before a big planetary invasion. We must resort to stronger force, then. You don't mean the Mutrex T9000 Eliminator Cyberclone Court device? Precisely. Nothing alive can resist the awesome power of the Weapon Ultimate! Oh, all right. I'll play with you, robot. But I'd rather be invading the Earth, I gotta tell you. Hey, big tall and metallic, what kind of tricks do you do? Cool! That's not bad. But how about doing something really impressive? Bad. Danger! 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 Cyberclone cokes are so hard to find these days. 
Okay, that's it. I've had it. I'm thrilled playing with your toy collection. If you won't invade, I will. But where to begin? Well, let's try this. And a couple of these and... are the best. Now I'm gonna blow up everything. Oh, uh, Slame off. Slame off. What, what are we to do? Slame off. Nine hundred fourteen. Only three more uh, to die. <laughs> Can't imagine what's taking Bumpy so long. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should be nearing my boys! Ah! Uh, You're out! Yes, and I win! Me, the Super World Bumpy Ball Bowl champion! But, Bumpy, what took you so long? Well, I was kidnapped by aliens, see? And I thought they were going to take over the planet. But they were really more interested in fooling around with their toys. And you see... Bumpy, of all the far-fetched and unlikely excuses... Doesn't sound so far-fetched and unlikely to us. By the way... Can you give us a ride to Graceland? Here's Bumpy! And look what I got! Night time is the right time for sock hunting. They make my day so wonderful. Not to mention their nutritional value. Ah, ah. <gasps> At last, a perfect right foot sock. <laughs> Must have been hibernating. <laughs> they will say to me of three eights are taken. <laughs> Whoa, all the way to M. <laughs> Bet I could get to Z with a left foot sock. Hello, what is this? <laughs> do my eyes deceivacate me? Oh, I know that aroma anywhere. A perfect left foot sock! My happiness is complete. Well, that was something shy of fun. What? What's this? My leg! Where's the rest of me? Excuse me, Mr. Bumpy. Could you hand me my limb, please? Molly, your leg? Yeah, I knew it wasn't mine. Not enough uh, warts on it. So, Bumpy, been doing anything interesting lately? Uh, escaping the clutches of that no-good closet monster again. Almost got me third time this week. Oh, Bumpy, do be careful. Too many toys have gone into that closet and never come out. No closet monster's gonna get me. No, why? On account of because from now on, I'm never even going near a closet again. That is a bumpy vow. And while I'm at it, I also vow to touch the tip of my nose with my tonsils and never cross the street again without looking. And, and no more eating the gunga under the refrigerator. Not with that sharing with my friends, of course. And what's more, hi -ya, hi -ya. You found my button. But uh, yeah, enough of me in my monstrous life. <laughs> what about you? I mean, how's come you're all in pieces? Well, just another fun-filled day. Little sister wanted to play hospital. I was the patient. <sighs> my insurance company's gonna hate me for this. And you actually went along with it? Of course. It's my job, Bumpy. I'm a comfort doll. Righteous, Molly. But it seems like you never get to do what you want. Maybe not. But the little sister loves me. That's what's important. It gives me purpose, makes me feel alive. Don't you understand? It existentially transcends my corporeal reality as a mere plaything. Besides, I'm good at it. Yeah, well, whatever. Me, I just like the boy because he's my hero. Well, without him... I wouldn't have any of my cool stuff like dirty socks, chewed bubblegum, torn baseball cards, and toenail clippings in specially gooey clumps of tissue. Go bite my lip and call me Bumpy. Here's my boy now. Enough, honey. Now go to sleep. But, Mom, I can't. There's a monster under the bed. <laughs> monster? Uh, nothing under this bed but junk. 
I bet that monster's probably hiding. That's what I do. Now go to sleep. Boys who don't get their rest turn into zucchini. Oh. 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 Poor kid. Imagine turning into a zucchini. I'm so glad I'm not human. We gotta help him. We gotta make him go to sleep. But how, Bumpy? Well, we'll just have to see about this monster under his bed. You know, it's guys like that that give the rest of us a bad name. They'll say, uh, uh, you don't think the monster under the bed is related to the uh, closet monster, do you? I don't think you have anything to worry about, Bumpy. Nope. No sign of the monster. Woo! Imagine that. I am so glad. Not me. I'm mad. Look at this. Tissues, toenails, gum. Why, this monster's got a collection of cool stuff to rival my own. Bumpy, this is your cool stuff. What? You mean the monster stole it? No, it's yours. This is your place. Wait a minute. Just what are you trying to say? Okay, Bumpy, where do you live? Under the bed. And where are we now? In the monster's lair. So if you live under the bed and the monster's lair is under the bed, what does that tell you? Um, ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. I know, I know. Ooh, 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 I got it. Call on me. Yes, the answer is it's ten. <gasps> Bumpy, you're the monster under the bed that's been keeping the boy awake. Well, let me get this straight. Are you saying that... All this cool stuff is mine? Hot dog! Party time! Break out the fuzzy cheese and the greasy fries! It's mine! Mine! Oh, mine! Woo Life is good! Oh, there's a monster under the bed! Cool, don't be upsetting the boy. Settle down. There's no monster under the bed. Just go to sleep. Me? Keeping my boy up? Oh, the shame, the sorrow, the cruel irony of it all! Can he ever forgive me? Sleep. Gotta go to sleep. Gotta go. Gotta go. I gotta go to the bathroom! Oh no, he's gonna see Squishy. Ah! <laughs> Squishy, you've gotta come and help us get the boy to go to sleep. Okay, I was just getting out to go over to Mr. Bumpy's. <laughs> I found some new icky things he's gonna really like. Wanna see him, Molly? Uh, thanks, Squishy. There now. You just get comfortable and you'll fall asleep in no time. Good night, sweetie. Sleep? How can I sleep? The monsters are gonna get me! If we don't do something, he'll never get to sleep. He'll wake up as a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Bumpy. We'll do something. Maybe the boy just doesn't have enough incentive to go to sleep. Incentive? Hey, waking up in the phylum Kukushia is plenty of incentive to me. Though, though, you know, maybe it wouldn't hurt to give him a little positive motivation, eh? Some sort of a reward for going to sleep, perchance? Hey, <laughs> I'd go to sleep for a present like yeah. this. Sleep, sleep. Uh... Time to bail. Come on, Squish. <laughs> What's this? Go, go to sleep, just shut your eyes, and you will get this big surprise. Love, Mom? Hey, look out! Hey, hey, it's all right now. Now, once and for all, there are no, repeat, no monsters. It's just your imagination. But you said imagination is a good thing. It is, honey. Just not at bedtime. But there are monsters! I know it! They're gonna get me! You know what? There's no use denying it anymore. You're right. There is a monster, and he's in the closet. I knew it. I knew it! So, our old friend the closet monster's been keeping my boy awake all this time. That really burns my bottom. Now remember, the closet monster can't get you if you go to sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go to sleep right away now. I promise. Hear that, Bumpy? He's going to sleep now. Please don't let the closet monster get me. That tears it. Somebody's got to take out that ugly closet monster, and it might as well be me. So look out. It's Bumpy time. Bumpy, no! Oh, 
This is gonna be so violent. I must avert my eyes. There's only one way to handle this. Mano, a monster. Wait, Bumpy. What about your vow? You swore you'd never go into a closet again. Bump that. This is for the boy, my hero. I cannot let him down. I shan't. Gee, Mr. Bumpy. Need a baseball bat? Thanks, old friend, but I've got to do this alone. Wonderful, dear. Congratulations. Now, can you go to sleep? I got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, no sign of Mr. Bumpy. I guess that means he... He... He, he was some kind of monster. Do not worry, Miss Molly. We'll give him a send-off to remember. It will be the event of the year. Even Bumpy will want to miss it. <gasps> Bumpy, you're alive. The boy rescued you. The, what did what, I tell you? Oh, that kid is something else. My hero. Is he sleeping yet? Out like a light. No chance of him turning into a vegetable now. Thanks to you, Mr. Bumpy. You know, this gives me a warm feeling right here. Yeah. And I know just the thing for it. Yes! この惑星の子供たちと呼ばれる存在には。おはようございます。超重要だ、リンダ。そう。全身でぶつかっていかなくてはならない。はい。ああ、よ。よしよかったら付き合って。はい、ちさい。ただ。上司として、アルマジキ
Princess Charlotte, is something wrong? Please, take this. It isn't a very valuable piece, but it belonged to the former queen. My mother. It was her keepsake, you see. I cannot accept something so precious. It wouldn't be right. No, please, carry this with you. The Lord Stone is made of two different stones, one that is male and one that is female. It's been said that the two stones attract each other, and the bearers of the two halves will always be reunited. If I were to wear the female stone, and you were to wear the male stone, I know that you would return safely from battle. The stones would see to it. Please accept this for me. But it's far too precious of a belonging, Princess. I must not be allowed to accept it. But I... Therefore, when I return from the battle, I will be sure to return this to you. <sighs> Never before has the war made me feel so... so anxious and afraid. Please, Sir Griffith. Be careful. Come back to me. You there, uh, Knight! Yes. Please, be sure to guard Sir Griffith well during battle. Yes, with my very life, I swear. Let's go. Charlotte? <gasps> Mother... And exactly what is it you think you're doing? What do you mean? Don't feign ignorance with me. You gave that man a present, didn't you? I don't see that it's any of your concern, to whom I choose to give what is mine. Well, it is. You are a member of the royal family, dear. And the man you choose to give your gift to is common. Be aware of how that could appear to others. Be mindful of what your position represents to them. But... but mother... You are 16 years old. You are no longer a child. Charlotte! Looks like we're popular. We're leading the entire advance. It's a huge responsibility. Why? Lost your nerve? I have not! I don't know. You're looking pretty nervous to me, Corcus. You're shaking. Shut up! It's because I'm excited, that's all. Where on earth is Griffith? Huh?
For me to call a man my friend, he must be equal to me in all respects. What's wrong? You look pale, Casca. It's nothing. Look there. It's beginning. Attack! Attack! high-ranking female commander I've heard so much about. What's it to you? <laughs> I don't like it. At all! Women have no place playing at being knights. <sighs> You're inferior. Men are more powerful. Women are of no use in battle. Why not try me, then? <laughs> What's so funny? You. I imagine you keep your men very warm at night. What? <laughs> no doubt you earn such high rank by climbing into Griffith's bed. <laughs> Indeed, if your charms are that deserving, I think I'd like to experience you myself. is a sacred place. It is for men, and you desecrate it. For this, I, Lord Adon, leader of the Blue Whale Super Strong Heavy Assault Knights, will punish you! So, you're all cowards. 
It's under the thumb of a woman. What did you say? <laughs> What's wrong? No more ground to retreat to? Oh, look at that. I don't know why you insist on dressing like a man. You're obviously an attractive woman. Well, I will give you one chance. Surrender and be my obedient captive, and I shall spare your life. And of course, by obedient captive, I mean you'll have the high honor of being my company's whore. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm a son of a bitch, am I? Then you shall die by the blade of the one you hate! Commander! <laughs> what the hell? What's the matter with you? Guts! Captain! It's Guts! <laughs> Come on! Let's fight! I need it. I have to fight until the voices stop. I want to fight until I remember nothing! Enough of your babbling! You've gotten lucky, it seems, and blocked my strike! But I doubt your luck will hold twice! Let's see if you can withstand my special strike that crushes even marble to dust. It's a secret technique passed down 140 years through the Korbowitz family. The ultimate secret technique, guns on Senpu! Guns and Senpu. Most impressive. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! God. He oh, beat that friend. monster in two the strikes! That's our commander! He is incredible! What's wrong? I've never seen you like this before. You have no concentration! You're gonna get yourself killed! Hey! Hey! Never again will I swim in full armor. No. Oh, <laughs> 
she's got a fever. This is not good. If I build a fire now, it'll draw the enemy to our location. Ah, damn it all! There's gotta be another way! It's not as though she hasn't done as much for me. Why does she have to be so difficult? What made her think that she could fight with a fever? Women. Now I understand. It must be hard, being a woman. Guts and Costa? Well, they fell from a very high cliff, but there was a river beneath it. You know how Guts is. There's a chance they could have survived the fall, but... I just couldn't see where they landed. And the captain was already injured. There was something wrong with Casca also. We should send out a search party as soon as possible. Lord Griffin, I'm sure you understand the objective of this battle and how important this victory is. Our main concern is conquering our enemy. And we can't afford to jeopardize that goal by sending good soldiers out to rescue a couple of men. Besides, it's obviously their own fault for recklessly fighting one-on-one, -on -one, wouldn't you agree? That's not fair, and you know it! I don't understand. Isn't one of them the captain of the Hawks Raiders, and the other the famous female senior commander? Your two most skilled commanders are together, aren't they? I'm sure they can handle themselves. That is, assuming, of course, they're still alive. who dedicate their lives to another inevitably shed their own blood. Those who sacrifice themselves for hopeless love cannot help but shed tears, dreams and hopes, death and despair. By accepting and believing, 
Will they find their reason for living? この惑星ではかつて関ヶ原と呼ばれる戦いがあった。どこ行くんだ敵あっちだよ敵あっち敵ってどっちだっけイエスだよ助かったやさざってるぞ平気でござる何小早川が寝返っただとこれより俺らを徳川方につくえ裏切んの戦えめちゃくちゃだな逃げなさい逃げなさいえいえいおーいい気なもんだな実際に戦ったの俺たちだろなんかぴったりだなそして約100年後中心蔵と呼ばれる事件が起こるうちのご隠居様も言い過ぎたんだよね赤穂の人に恨まれてるよなうち入り来たら嫌だな泣きたなの鬱憤を晴らすため三条を運ばうちの気を運ぶな気を探せこんなとばっちりだな気の男だここに隠れようあご隠居様いたぞああ最後は武士らしくえいえいおいい気なもんだよな後始末俺たちだしあったまるなただこの惑星では本当に働いている人が一番疲れる缶コーヒーのボス
中で叩き出すこの俺が必ず気圧大気蘇生ともに正常放射能もなし環境に異常はないわこれが地球の風景だなんて<笑>まるで別の星みたい。やれやれこの分じゃ人類も長くはないよな<笑>どうだヤギ今のうちに二人で火星でも逃げる方法考えないかノアル<笑>俺たちだけでも生き延びれば人類は滅びない二人で新しいアダムとイブになるってアイデアどう買いだと思わない<咳>ノアル任務中よ不謹慎だわま常に最悪の事態を考えておくのが俺の主義でねしかも腹が減っては戦はできないってかノアルチュアダムとイブも結構だがおやつじさんは遠足だけにしてもらいたいなアキお前通信機のスイッチ<笑>ノアル戦いは連合防衛軍に任せておけばいい我々外宇宙開発機構の使命はエイリアンの調査分析にある聞いているのかノアルはい分かっております我が親愛なるフリーマンチーフ殿<笑>心にもないお世辞は言わんでいい<笑>ラーサ頑張ってねノアルブイブイはいはいよっ<笑>収集は完了したわあとは生体サンプルを採取するだけよああさけどどうしてあのエリアン侵略した土地にこんな植物を植えていくのかしらさあな地球をジャガイモ畑にでもするつもりかなったく俺たちが手も足も出せないのいいことに今頃やつらお空でジャガイモの夢でも見てるんじゃねえのかハハハハ。
<笑>それまでだな、えー、くそー席みたいねああ多分な奴らなら自分で植えた植物の上に落としたりはしないだろうからなしかしこの分じゃあれ一匹生き残っちゃいないぜ<笑>どうした秋<笑>確かにうんあれかねクレーターで救出した人間というのははいでも信じられませんあの爆発の中にいて無事だなんてミリーお客さんの具合は大丈夫傷はひどいけど命に別状ないわそっか地球人か答えろラダムなんだよそれエイリアンだオービタルリングを占拠してるおいおい奴らと名刺交換でもしたのかオタクまだ寝てんじゃないそうかお前らラダムじゃないのかじゃあここはどこだ外宇宙開発機構の本部外宇宙開発機構閉めた何が閉めたよ君ビリーを離しなさい<笑>ビリーって初対面の人にはまず自分から名乗るのが礼儀でない名前名前なんて覚えてない忘れちまった<笑>ここの責任者は誰だ私だが頼みがあるんだ頼みああ貸してほしいんだ俺にスペースシップをな、な、な
なんだ地球のどこかに宇宙生命体が降下したのよくそ始まっちまったか君ついてきたまえ<笑>オーストラリアのジョーンズ連合防衛軍基地だ<笑>やはりひとたまりもないか頼む頼む俺にスペースシップを貸してくれスペースシップ何言い出すんだお前それしかこの危機を救う方法はないんだ待て君は地球人かみ見ればわかるだろうならば知っているはずだ現在の地球にスペースシップはないけ,けどここになら一機ぐらいあったとしてどうするのか<笑>ラダムがラダムが大規模な地球降下作戦を開始したんだ今の攻撃はその第一波じきに奴らの本体が地球に降りてくるだからだからその前に宇宙で叩き潰さなきゃならないんだ出任せを言うな嘘じゃないラダムなぜ君は敵の名前を知っているんだいやもしも君の言うことが事実だとしても君が言ってどうなるというのだ今はそんなこと説明してる暇はないんだ<笑>スペースシップあるにはあるけど何どこだ<笑>どこだどこにあるんだ頼む教えてくれ地下8階の第三角の子<笑>いかんノアル秋彼を止めるんだ緊急事態発生緊急事態発生第三角の声の侵入者を阻止せよ繰り返す第三角の声の侵入者を阻止せよ<笑>あのバカブルーアース号に武器はないわ宇宙へ出たら終わりよまったくとんでもねえ D ボーイだぜ D ボーイデンジャラスボーイお前か侵入者っつうのはおやさんこの野郎お前もああなりたいかえいやいやよ第三格納庫はどこだあのそのその突き当たりを左に曲がってみ右に行ってまままをすぐサンキュー命は大事にしな<笑>ここか<笑>
タルリングかこの野郎<笑>何がオービタルリングだ勝手な真似しやがって早く引き返せおい聞いてんのかレーザー弾よ何か武器はないのかせふざけやがって敵シールドオンおいあとは頼むなんだっててめえいい加減にしろどこまで勝ってやりゃ気が済むんだ今さら後戻りはできないだろう死にたくなきゃ言うことを聞けちょちょっとどこ行くのバカな外は宇宙だぞ出たら即死だ死なないさいや死ねないんだ俺はリーバウ<笑>外部発注をロックしろ後部ユニットのマスター回路を切れラサテンテンセンセンセンセンセンセンセンセンデッカマンブレードに変身した D ボーイにノアルが詰め寄る果たして彼の正体はさらにテッカマンダガーの影が次回「宇宙の騎士テッカマンブレード孤独の戦士仮面の下の涙を拭え」
とえちだ！Postpone this match. Agreed. Huh? Ah, ah, <laughs> so you are the sole survivor of the Huga Ninja of Kaga, Sakon the Whirlwind. Huga Ninja? 
And you, judging by your style, you seem to be a Kasumi ninja of Shinano. However, no one would believe that there are any surviving Kasumi ninja. We of the host of Oboro live in the world of darkness. And I am one of the seven Oboro ninja, Janai Saigusa. I am here to take your lives as my master ordered. <gasps> <laughs> Be careful. They're not... they're not human. chance huh. Such a pity how the two of you were so much less than effective So that chanting was from you <laughs> Don't worry. There's no need to thank me I couldn't stand by and watch the clumsiness of members of the world's three schools of shadow warriors. But how do you know about us? You want to know? The world's three original schools of ninja are Kasumi, Hyuga, and Hagakure. Altogether, they are called the three shadow schools of ninja. From those schools came the thousands of schools of ninja now encompassing Japan. The shadows of the shadow warriors. In other words, the shadow ninja. But it looks like there are better ninja than you. So you... I guess you know all about these things. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But if you want to know, you'll have to ask at Hagakure no Sato, deep in the mountains of Ryuga and Mino. Hagakure no Sato. Ooh, the cicadas have started chirping. Huh? huh. <gasps> Reverend. <laughs> you too have to discover the very core of the shadow schools. A shadow is something that never shows itself. Something without form. Something shapeless. Something that can't be seen. If you simply concentrate on the enemy's visible techniques, then you have a long way to go before you can defeat them. Jinai, you lost track of the Sword of Sorcery. That is unforgivable. I cannot apologize enough. I will regret it for the rest of my life. Don't worry about it. However, the next mistake will be your last. Keep that in mind as you fight. Yes, Master. I, Jinai, will complete this mission even at the cost of my life. Go! <laughs> One month ago, when I went to Hyuga, the entire town was completely destroyed. 
Master Sacon, how did you end up being the only survivor? And how, may I ask, did you survive? Understand, Ayame? Take care of this holy sword. Shinosuke, I want to fight with you to the end. You cannot! Father gave his life so that you may have this sword, Ayame. Father... You have to protect the sword and go to Hyuga and Hagakure no Sato. I'll take care of this thing, and in the meantime, leave while you can. If we three schools of shadow don't combine, we'll never defeat it. Understand? I'm counting on you. to slay the monster that destroyed Kasumi, but to do that, I had to go to Hyuga and Hagakure. Ha. <laughs> Vengeance? What good would it do for you to go to Hagakure? Our enemy has the power to destroy our hometowns within one night. Do you think that with just the fighting force of Hagakure, we could defeat it? If not, then why are you going to Hagakure? Ha. <laughs> well, I wonder. My people have the home field advantage, so you'd better not make any suspicious moves. So, who are you two? You're not from around here. <sighs> this means we've already entered Hakakure. I am a member of the Hyuga School in Kaga, Sakon the Whirlwind. And this is... I am Ayanosuke of the Kasumi School in Shinano. I have my reasons for coming. Yuga and Kasumi? Hmm. Really? So you guys are from the Shadow Schools. Come with me. I'll take you to the village. Hold it. You're really not gonna trust us that easily, are you? You called yourself Master Sakon, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the captain of the first division of Hagakure, Ryoma Kugure. I thought I was dead. Ha! <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. That's all right, but your fortress is really well guarded. <laughs> you all entered the forest and came out intact. I knew you had to be members of the shadow schools of Hyuga or Kasumi. No, if Master Ryoma didn't come just in time, we would not be alive right now. <laughs> You're so modest. So why did you come to visit us? <sighs> this is the holy sword handed down through the generations in Kasumi. Legend has it that it will eliminate evil and bring peace, but it didn't have that effect when faced with the monster that attacked my home village. Master Genusai, I have come here to ask for your help. 
I wish only to avenge Kasumi village, please. I have heard that Yuga and Kasumi were completely destroyed. You said that your short sword will eliminate evil and bring peace again. We in Hagakure have an ancient weapon with much the same legend. It's the halberd that Ryoma holds. Master Genyusai, now that you have mentioned it, I have heard the same kind of legends surrounding the sword I have here. <laughs> I have heard that once our three schools were one. These three weapons may be proof of that. Due to the rules of the schools, the three have been separate for so long, so the truth of the matter may never be understood. <gasps> then... Mm. But before that, we must understand the nature of this monster and the nature of this host of Oboro that attacked the two of you. Hmm, Father, if there is a connection between the monster and this host of Oboro, then it must be Nobunaga controlling them. Nobunaga? That's right. The host of Oboro are Nobunaga's secret army. Nobunaga was simply a lord governor of a small region like Owari, but his military advances met no resistance. And behind those were the host of Oboro, acting behind the scenes. They were responsible for the sudden death of Shingen Takeda, the arson of Mount Hiei, and the accidental fire at Ishiyama Hongenji Temple. Well, that's my theory anyway. And if it was Nobunaga who was attempting to wipe out two of the three shadow schools, Kasumi and Hyuga... But the thing that attacked Kasumi was an enormous three-headed monster. No matter how powerful Nobunaga is, I don't believe he could control a monster like that. Don't be so sure. Do you know what Nobunaga's underlings secretly call him? Half-demon. It's not just because of his inhuman atrocities. There are things about him that are just uncanny. If it's true that Nobunaga is trying to destroy the Three Shadow Schools, the next place the host of Oboro and the Three-Headed Monster will attack is... Here at Hagakure. I always find that it is easier to think when I'm taking a hot bath. <laughs> is anything wrong? What's wrong? Is something troubling you? Uh, I, um, I'd rather stay outside and enjoy the evening breeze. Mr. Zayanovsky. Why is she acting so strangely? Miss Kikyo, I really like it here. When I sit like this, it reminds me of Kasumi. Kasumi was a mountain town also, and on a summer night, the fireflies buzz around the water shore. It was beautiful. When I was small, I was always fascinated by the light of fireflies. I would sit by the shore for hours and watch them. When I was there, my brother would always come to take me home. But I would start crying, insisting that I be allowed to stay and watch. But he'd take me piggyback and carry me back home. <laughs> I was such a crybaby. And my brother would always be there silently beside me. I was never really able to do anything. And my brother was good at everything. Even so, I was the only one who survived. <laughs> anyway, I think it would take some work for even the host of Obero to get in here. What is it? I smell blood. What? Ah! <laughs> Master 
Dr. Ryoma, it's them. What? I'll take care of things here. You go raise the fort. All right, I'm counting on you. Intruders! Intruders! Everyone come out! Intruders! Huh? What's going on? Everybody into the open! Master Ryoma, what has happened? There are enemy intruders inside the walls. We need everyone to get into the open. Help out! Yes, sir! Father! Father! Oh no! Father! Stay back! Leave this thing to me. Be sure everyone else is safe, Ryoma. Father. Where are Masters Ryoma and Genyusai? I don't know. Is everybody all right? Many are dead. What about Master Genyusai? He was... <gasps> That's where the main house is. <laughs> I will not allow you to live. I can kill hundreds and it will do no good. Bastard Jinai, where are you? Tonight we will exterminate the three shadow schools. Jinai Saigusa! Jinai, why are you attacking us? What is Nobunaga scheming? Ah, the brat from before, I have nothing to say. To a woman who's about to die. You bastard! Ha! 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 You cannot defeat me! Die in peace! You fool! This was Ayanosuke! Die! Saying, I can't just leave you here, Kikyo. I, I was so happy. Kikyo, you can't die. Kikyo, you can't die.
What do you intend to do? Hey, Nosuke! Get back! You, you can't defeat that thing! I don't care if I can't. I'll get that thing with my own hands, even if it costs me my life. The eighth year of Tensho, just as summer was ending. can never be too cautious. I heard that all of the shadow warriors who allied with the Iga ninja were killed by Nobunaga's assassins. And I heard they weren't even human. Shh. Are you Fuma Ninja? <gasps> you may be thinking of fleeing to Iga. But you won't get there. Tell me, are you the one who killed all the ninja who allied with Iga? Indeed. I am one of the seven Oboro ninja. Kiheiji, the quiet doom. <laughs> Maru, what is Oboro doing? How long do they need to defeat a small region such as Iga? Forgive me. The Shadow Warriors are putting up a stronger resistance than expected. I never expected to hear that from you. Why do you think I ordered Nobukatsu to send 40,000 of his best warriors? Perhaps it is necessary that I go there myself, Ranmaru. You mustn't, Your Grace. In the past year, the nation's ninja have been making threatening moves toward you. It was their plan to allow you to invade Iga, then attempt to take your head. Iga is protected with wards, so you will not even be able to control the host of Oboro. If you go there now, you will be doing just as they wish you to. I understand that, Ranmaru. I am considering this only because your secret plan to break their wards isn't going anywhere. If that is your concern, the plan is underway. What? Genzo and Masago are hiding at the borders of Iga. 
Within two or three days, they will cause Iga untold casualties, Your Grace. <laughs> Summer of the ninth year of Tensho. Nobunaga started a war which plunged Iga into its most tragic era. The war was later dubbed the Tensho Era Iga Revolt. <laughs> thrown into the midst of this tragic war as well, the warriors of the Three Shadow Schools. It looks like a steady rain. Nobunaga's troops should have a hard time moving around in all this. It's strange. Nobunaga's troops marched along a secret road that only we should know. Could there be an informant? There couldn't be an informant. <coughs> ah! uh! huh? The host of Obero? We're almost at the border of Iga and Omi. They may be hiding just beyond the border. Here they come. We're too late. What have we been doing with ourselves this entire year? At this rate, Eagle will be completely destroyed. It's been leaked that our tactics to defeat Nobunaga have been diversionary. Hey, who's that? Huh. What are Koga Ninja doing there? Kikyo. Are you... are you from Koga? You look like nice. My name is Kayo, from the Wada clan of Koga. I hope to have the chance to talk to you, Shadow Warriors, soon. 
How do you know about us? Please, excuse me. So, Master Sakon, you are saying that the Koga Ninja have sided with Oda? Probably. No, there's no doubt about it. They were definitely Koga Ninja. Hmm, I see. If the ancient ally of Iga, the Koga Ninja, have turned traitor, now I understand what was behind the battles of the last few days. It's true that most of the secret roads to Iga have fallen to the enemy. We haven't been able to contact our other allies, and we can't even get a message to Koga. Exactly. There's no escaping the fact that we're left completely without outside support. We had a secret truce with Mount Koya, but because Nobunaga burned all their temples there, that's over. Come to think of it, all of our other plans set up for this whole year have turned sour on us. I see. You are trying to tell me that someone has leaked information to the enemy. Now hold on a second. Even with what all of you have said, I still can't believe Koga would betray us. Lord! Nobunaga's army has resumed their attack, my lord. What? Lord Momochi. Hmm. She's that girl. Hmm. I am the representative of the 21 families of Koga, Kayo. Koga. Give me a report from Koga. Mm hmm Of the 21 families of Koga, unfortunately, some of them have surrendered to Nobunaga. However, the remaining families have combined forces and are protecting the lands of Koga. We will not allow Nobunaga's forces to enter Iga. You're sure that no one has betrayed us? Mm hmm No one. If you want to go from Azuchi to Iga, then the quickest route is through Koga. If we, the clans of Koga, close the road, then most of Nobunaga's men would be stranded. Yes, but we cannot trust the word of Koga so easily. This woman saved our lives this morning. I believe we should all listen to what she has to say to us. <laughs> well, I wonder about that. Huh? Kayo here is my little sister. Her marriage was arranged with someone in Koga when she was a child. However, that is not the only reason that I wish to trust in Koga. The founder of my family, Tanba Momochi, made this castle his home. He wrote instructing that we place wards in our country. Someday a malevolent star will split the heavens, so you must place a brother near the demon gate where the wards have no power. Call him Koga. Make his duty to stop their demonic power. In other words, Koga is a brother to Iga. I want to trust in Koga. Your opinions? Yes, if you say so, my lord. However, I still wonder who it was that leaked the information. Perhaps it was someone who wanted to frame Koga. Are you implying that it was one of us? No, but if Koga is innocent, then we must consider the possibility. I don't care whose sister she is, it doesn't erase my suspicions of Koga. Will you stop? I am not blaming anyone. If there is a traitor, he will be punished by the laws of the ninja. Of that you can be certain, my friend. There have been no attacks by Nobunaga's troops coming through the Koga Pass. With his main force stranded, this is the best chance to wipe out the enemy. A campaign to force the enemy out can only be successful if Koga is not our enemy. I cannot fight such a battle. Forgive me, but I will go out on my own. Hold it, Sakon. This is a time when we need everyone's help. What are you thinking? No, I will not die like a dog. <clears throat> you bastard! Are you saying our way of fighting means we'll die like dogs? Master Sakon!
Sakon, do you really have to go? Have you forgotten how your home was burned down and your people were all killed? Now, Iga is about to suffer the same tragedy that we had to go through. And you! You know what the outcome is going to be. So then why do you continue to fight? Huh? You should consider it once again. What is the true purpose of this war? Hmm. Ayanosuke, please live through this. <gasps> Stay alive and defeat Nobunaga. Tell me, was that not what you always wanted? Sakon! Ayanosuke, I may never see you again. I would like to know your true name. Ayame. Ayame of Kasumi. Ayame. How charming. Stay alive, Ayame. to help. I was born in this region and I have lived my whole life with these people. I see. You have a difficult path. Yes. Do your best. Take care of yourself, Master Sakon. Before we go into battle, there is something I must discuss with the two of you. Recently, Master Ninja Nagatono Kami Fujabayashi of Northern Iga and his entire clan fled to the Negoroji Temple in Hii. Huh? What's that? We have no chance of winning this war. What are you saying? If we have the fighting spirit, we can defeat 20 or 30,000 troops. Easily! No, not true. Basically, the reason for this war was to bring Nobunaga to the area. Since that goal will now never be achieved, no matter how many of the enemy we kill, we can never win. <sighs> However, even if all of Iga is destroyed, the Iga Ninja will never die. As long as the three Shadow Schools remain alive, our lines will go on for generations. But... Father gave his life so that you may have this sword, Ayame. You have to protect the sword and go to Hyuga and Hagakure no Sato. Understand? I'm counting on you. There is one more thing I have to tell you. Yes, sir. In the writings of my family's founder, a chapter is dedicated to a legend surrounding the weapons of sorcery of the Three Shadow Schools. According to the legend, there exists an ancient record written centuries ago that predicts the appearance of the Star of Sorcery and the revival of demons. If the Star of Sorcery is last year's comet and the demon is Nobunaga, then knowing this legend of the Sword of Sorcery could be the key to defeating Nobunaga. Sword of Sorcery? But where could we go to find out the contents of this legend? I've heard that the legend is passed down as an oral tradition in the region of Koya. Koya? That is all. The Wind Squad of the Nabari Ninja have arrived. Oh, 
Kogas has been taken? That's impossible. What happened to the Koga Ninja? Uh, the Koga Ninja nobility betrayed us in the pass. What? Oh, what did you just say? And we, we don't have any allies to stop the enemy's advance at the Koga Pass. That can't be. Burn everything! I don't want to see a single blade of grass left standing! Stop it! Please stop! We're not ninja! Let oh. go of me, you old bag! Hang in there. We, we were betrayed by K Koga. <gasps> Master Sakon! Master! Ah! Ah! Huh? Kayo, what is she? Uh, why? Why, Kayo? <laughs> <laughs> Sago, the silk spinner of the Seven Obora Ninja, was controlling her! <laughs> In other words, all this time, the traitor was Kayo. She was just being used. <laughs> it seems like we have lost this war completely. But now, there is still something that the two of you must take care of. We'll take care of this thing. You two leave. Ah, this is the Ika and Nobody technique. The Four Corner Series, isn't it? Rept. Soup. Good dancer. Met soup. Ah. Ah. Did we get him? that allowed the enemy to get the better of you. This is destiny as well. Die with me. Ego technique! Lightning strike death! Too. Kill me, please. 
Please kill me. Uh, uh, Mistress Kyle, you really, you really wanted to cry out like this and, and, and to cry out and try to, try to free yourself. To free yourself of the <laughs> demons inside. But you weren't able to. It must have been hard. It must have been painful. Now I'll relieve your pain. I'll relieve your pain right now. Yoma. Kikyo. Master Ryoma cried. Many of our allies were killed. We fought for our lives over the course of those two months. Even then, there were times when we could lose. We could lose. But Sakon, we won't run away. We can't run away. The next year, in the tenth year of Tensho, June second. Mitsuhide Akechi attacked Nobunaga at Honoji Temple. We left Iga and went to Koya to learn the legend of the Sword of Sorcery. The monk who saved us on the day I met Sakon was waiting for us there. His name was Ryoan. In the year when the stars split the heavens into two, a black demon god re-emerged from the depths of the demon world. The battlefield was dyed red with human blood. It consumed the flesh and souls of the people and would not be sated. We knew we had to kill Nobunaga soon, or he would cause unimaginable suffering. The inferno at Honoji Temple inflamed our hearts and hurried us along on our quest. Azuchi's castle town used to be a lively place, but now it's as silent as a grave. Since the incident of Honoji Temple, perhaps the townspeople are filled with some impending dread. Well, Sakon never did come after all, did he? Huh? I see. 
You heard the legend of the sword. It seems like our fate was written there a long time ago. And I felt I knew why Nobunaga was trying to eradicate us. However, three weapons exist which can seal off the evil. The first is a long sword. The second is a halberd. And the third, a short sword. And they are passed down along the lineage of the Shadow Warriors. Yes? That's right. If our present battle with Nobunaga was our destiny, foretold ages ago, then we must bow to our fate and defeat Nobunaga's plans. Our fate? <laughs> our fate. Now I see. So tell me, is that what you actually believe? <gasps> if that's true, then the destruction of our homes was also fate. And your rejection of your femininity is also fate. I don't know who foretold it, but do you really want to give your life fighting for such a fate? I'm not talking about theories here. The land of Kasumi was destroyed. I inherited the sword. I was the sole survivor. It's all truth. So it's only natural that you live for vengeance. But I... What did you... Have you lost your mind, Sakon? I never had any intention of living for fate. Much less for death. Huh? Ayame! Just once more, consider it. What is it you are fighting for? Mistress Dianosuke? Huh? Is something wrong? Uh, sorry. You've been acting a little strangely ever since you got back from Horaido Cave. We heard the legend of the Sword of Sorcery from Ryoan. Then you went to Hida saying you'll convince Master Sakon to join us. But since you got back, every time I mention Sakon's name, you get quiet. What happened between you and Sakon? Sakon? He is frightened of failure. What's gotten into him? In any case, we can't rely on Sakon, so we'll have to take Nobunaga's head on our own. Tonight's our last chance. This report states that we defeated the rest of Lord Hugo's men in the castle. Hmm, I see. All we need to do is wait. As you say, Your Grace. <laughs> Those shadow warrior fools even tricked Hugo into trying to kill me. But they can never defeat me. Ranmaru, a little more patience and it will all be over. I'm counting on you. Yes, we will protect you, Your Grace. Even if it costs us all of our lives. Soon. Soon I will obtain the power of a true demon god. <laughs> How long do you intend to keep this up? No matter how long you keep doing this, you will never reach nothingness. 
Wait as long as you wish. But I have absolutely no intention of leaving. Hmm? Ayanosuke and Ryoma are waiting for you, Sakon. No, they'd be tired of waiting and probably have attempted several surprise attacks to kill Nobunaga before he revives as a demon god. But all their attempts end in failure. To stop the reincarnation of the true demon god, we must have you and your sword there. Sakon, tell me, would you seriously ignore them? Sakon, Sakon, are you listening to me? They are fools. Hmm? Their foolish pride and stubbornness caused them to invite an excessively violent battle. And many are dead who would be alive today. For what purpose do they fight? If the reason for the war was to allow a few Iga survivors to flee and live, I would have fought to the death. Hmm. But any way you look at it, I would only be in their way as I seem to be now. Tornado. Shadow Warrior, you won't get by me huh? so easily. <laughs> Are you an Oboro Ninja? Indeed, I am one of the seven Oboro Ninja. Kiheiji, the quiet doom. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Is this the best a shadow warrior can do? You're useless when you can't use the Sword of Sorcery. I think I'll make you pray for my underlings. Did I get them? Jinai was defeated by a weakling such as you. <laughs> he was such a fool. Our game is over. Rest in peace! Ha! And who might you be? <laughs> a shadow. Exactly. Sakon! What are you doing? I'll take care of him. You go on ahead, Ayanosuke. Thank you. Never! Oh, you have some skill, I see. 
but the shine of your precious sword of sorcery is dull. <laughs> it seems that you made it in time. When did you get here? What? Ugh, this is hideous. What happened here? First attack, second attack, third attack, lock. On the fourth attack, mother was killed. And her daughter too. First attack, second attack, third attack, lock. Tears were sent to the underworld, and that's where you'll go too. What's going on, little one? You aren't part of Obero, are you? Huh? What? What is wrong with you? Huh. Now I understand. Again, little one. You can't fool me. You people, you people fight without dignity. Why do I always have to kill you? Answer me that, damn it! Ranmaru! My head! My head is going to explode! Two great gods shining in the heavens will be engulfed in darkness. A king of the malevolent star's domain is coronated. Ranmaru! Yes. Ranmaru, please do something! Oh, my head is going to explode! Oh, run, run, Maru. Your grace, this is what we wanted. It's perfect. After 500 years, we will finally see our long-cherished ambition realized.
still intend to fight. You can't fully use the power of your sword of sorcery. You're no match for me. of your skills, Shadow Warrior. <laughs> it's the end. Did we win? <laughs> now that was an impressive battle, Shadow Warrior. What? Run, Maru. You are the final one of the seven Oboro Ninja, isn't that right? You are laboring under a misunderstanding. The hosts of Oboro are all dead. Huh? Don't you understand? The first one was Jinai, whom you killed at Sagakure and Mino, and Genzo and Masago and Iga. Then recently, Kagami at Hakaku Daira, and Keheiji at Nyomon, and Oboro's greatest demon god, Nobunaga Oda, was killed by your own hands. The last Oboro was the one who guided you here. Hmm? <gasps> you finally realized it. However, like Nobunaga, Ryoan didn't know that he himself was truly Oboro. We fashioned his memory, and he did well in his duty to guide you so you could defeat the demon god of the darkness. There's a lunar eclipse tonight. And the mysterious star is strongly affected by it. Shut up! Quit spouting nonsense! Ah! <laughs> 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 Your sword cannot affect me, because I am the one who gave you the sword of sorcery in the first place. It 
can't be. You're saying that centuries ago, you gave us this sword so that we could kill your own men? Yes, indeed. Can you now begin to understand why I destroyed your homes, leaving only three survivors? Why did I make Koga betray and exterminate the people of Iga? Why did I force Nobunaga to kill the ones you love? The objects which turn your emotions into energy, those are the swords of sorcery that you possess. Observe. An enormous power was generated when your thoughts and the thoughts of the Oboro collided. It distorted space-time. The path to the underworld is opening. You blessed me with all your hard work. You followed the fate I foretold for you and destroyed the demon <laughs> god of darkness. You're lying! <laughs> Lies! Stop your lying! <laughs> Such a fool, Shadow Warrior. <laughs> Shinosuke, why did you have to give your life for this sword? <laughs> this isn't the reason I've been fighting. <laughs> your duty has come to an unfortunate end. Shinosuke. Rest in peace! What do you... What do you think you're doing, Ayame? I can't. A shadow warrior never leaves the fight until somebody dies. I can't. You mean yet another one is still alive? Sakon, hang in there. Huh? Ayanosuke of Kasumi challenges you. Don't throw your life away. Ayame! You don't know when you're dead. <gasps> oh! You should consider it an honor to be killed by me. Wait. You're going to fight me now. <laughs> Once I have killed this one, I will fight you and kill you slowly. <laughs> Master of the Hugo Revelation style, Sakon the Whirlwind challenges you. I claim your life! I'm impressed. You parried my sword well. But your body isn't strong enough to avoid my next attack. So calm. Get away! Your fate as a warrior ends here. Ah! Uh, what? Uh, that's impossible. So that hole was created at the same moment our thoughts collided with the Obero thoughts. So if the same thing happens again, the hole closes. Isn't that right? Master Ryoma! 
Don't be a fool. The demon god no longer exists. Uh, no! No! I don't care if there's a demon god or not. My thoughts are going to close that cursed hole from hell. Sakon, Ayanosuke, kill him even if it kills us both. <gasps> On the whirlwind attack! Disappearing. The doorway to the underworld is closing. Sakon! Sakon, hang in there! Sakon! We got them, didn't we? Yes, we got them. And it looks like you can return to being a woman now. There were so many things I wanted to tell you. <coughs> but I can't remember a single one of them. If it's another one of your lectures, you'll have plenty of time to give me that later. That's right. From the first moment I met you, I wanted, just for once, to talk to you in the way a man talks to a woman. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. And this time, I'll have to be careful not to let you knock me out. <laughs> Ayame, uh, look, the moon, the moon, it's a full moon. It's so quiet. So quiet. June 15th, in the 10th year of Tensho, Azuchi Castle burned down to the ground. I ended my journey there. Sakon, I have the feeling that ever since I left Kasumi no Sato, deep in my heart I was looking for a place to die. But now, I think that I have to live, no matter how painful the world may be. My life is precious because you sacrificed everything to save it. That is what you wanted. That is what you fought for. Sora e to 
Well, there's this girl, Crazy Mary. You put some in her drink, man. She, <laughs> yeah, Spanish. Oh, yeah, that's really groovy, man. Spanish fly is groovy, yeah. Boy. Sheldon Leonard comes up, says, "Boys, I spy is going to Spain." <laughs> A childhood dream come true. No more will I treat you like some kind of alien. Three minutes to minimum safe distance. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets, especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Z